Because By the way, I think we have a problem. Oh, boy, do we. So, you know how we made the short about, like, oh, how I have no Rule 34, but you have Rule 34? Yeah. So, we posted that on shorts and on Instagram, and prevailing, prevailing amount of comments were, well, I can fix that. Uh-huh. So, I think we've stumbled our way into, like, accidental R34 talk or shorts or reels, uh, and there was a couple of comments that were saying, this, I can see this ship sailing. Uh. So I'm afraid by me saying I, well, I've I've Googled for my rule 34. I'm afraid it's going to be us. Google again. Yeah. It's it's going to, yeah, you're going to get new results. At least it won't be sent to me in discord. Like it's sent to you. I was going to say, speak for yourself. The second that episode went out, I had people being like, Hey, in case you want to show Nick, I've collected all of the stuff. Uh, that you've been shown. They just decided to get, they they got everything together. Yeah. Do you want to see our audio only listeners? I love this part. Yeah. 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 Well, so you sent me, you sent me, there was a work in progress of you getting dominated by Junker Queen. Yeah. That one's good. Yeah. That's like, I like when it's like That's the high tier stuff. Yeah. So here, for our audio only listeners. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Feel these images. Even our visual listeners, because these are graphic as hell. How about you just describe what you see here and you can scroll down. Oh, the last one you're really going to hate. Are they editing themselves? It's into all this? me. No, it's all me. No, 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 no. There is. There is very clearly. No, somebody there's multiple else. me. So I am seeing um, a woman in very much bondage. Yeah. Um, and and there's no there is somebody else edited because they have double lip piercings. You are getting that is a giant squid taking you for a ride. Yeah, it's a lot of squids. Uh, there is a man uh, who is also a fish, mm-hmm. but also his head is. Looks oh, like, sushi, like a big sushi fish is that, guy. Is that what it is? He's, I think so. He's sushi. He's, yeah. he's taking you for a little ride. That is you with just an apron on. Uh huh. Oh, this light subconsciously gathers in our sexiest of places. Oh. You waxing poetic? Oh, yeah. God. There's you with a much older man. Yeah. Uh, and then you as what can only be described as a, a middle aged deeply greek made um oh with, yes yes yeah i'm that, just a hairy dude they yeah but they they made you mediterranean at the at the very least yeah that what that one's a drawing of me as a maid uh in all of my furry glory i feel like we should put that one up on we should we should put these up on our community poll and we yeah. should see like what's your favorite <laughs> image of danny like having every it's ounce of pride railed. ripped from him by the way hi I'm Nick. Uh, I'm NC Hammer 23. Today I'm joined by the American Rejects lead bassist, Hi. Danny Mata. I'm Danny Mata. Uh, coincidentally, also NC Hammer 23. Yes. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except he was the NC Hammer who decided uh, we're gonna keep bangs forever. I look. I look sick as hell. You I'm do. Sorry. You're no, over the- here in your like anime sports jersey it's not a big deal i was sponsored to... by box lunch i mean uh, i don't yeah. like to brag about it i feel like i'm like bringing pop punk back single-handedly mm-hmm. and you're like trying to be like yeah i watch anime but it's no big deal like i'm, I'm still casual yeah about says it. the dude with two sleeves of anime tattoos you know how many times i have to describe to people that used to respect me why i have a <laughs> sleeve full of cartoon women on my left arm i just don't get how you can have two full anime sleeves and make fun of me for liking all american rejects I feel like those are very different things because when it comes down to respectability, I mean, were they the ones who were like, what was it? There's so much more, but we lost ourselves. Was that not them? No, that wasn't that? all American no, rejects. They were like, we were to live for some. See, no, fuck. What? Wait, it was, what it was a that? Bionicles. It was, it was a Bionicles, they were Bionicles. They were like, advertisement. Yeah, it was a Bionicle advertisement. That was a like. When darkness turns to light, light, it comes oh, it tonight. Ends it tonight. ends tonight. It doesn't come tonight. I it's never over. even got. Were, were it's they just done. Legos? Weren't they just edgy Legos? They're sick. Yeah, they were edgy Legos. But like, they had the All American <sighs> Rejects. Oh my God, do you remember? So when- it was the All American Rejects. Yes, I'm a genius. Not the one you sang at first, though. Really? Those were yeah. different songs. Two different songs. Devastating. At one point, the Bionicles stole. Uh, the Jonas Brothers. Do you remember that? No. That was sick. Do not remember the, that, was that like, arc. I can't find this ad on YouTube anywhere, mm-hmm. but in like, whenever the Jonas Brothers were relevant, yeah. they had- I'd argue they're still relevant. Fair. They're when torn. they were together. Yeah. Uh, they I had. I think they're still together. You think there was a Jonas Brothers falling out? When I was a child. Gotcha. Then, mm-hmm. They had the scary, bion- the scary Bionicles. I'd argue all of them are scary to some degree. Some were scarier than oh, others. Oh, there was like, uh, there was like there, auto, there were Autobots in- 
There was fish there was bionicles? There scary fish ones. I, I would argue any Lego fish is scary. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I agree. But um, they, uh, I remember there was an ad campaign where they stole the Jonas Brothers, and it was mm-hmm. like... Like, like the Bionicles, like, kidnapped the Jonas yeah, Brothers? Yeah, like, the, like evil, the evil Bionicle. They were like, they had them in, like, a submarine. They were taken to the bottom of the ocean. And it was like, we need your credit card to save the Jonas <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> that 100% happened. Get them out. I can't find Buy proof. as many of their army as you can in order yeah. to save the Jonas Brothers. And I did. I had a legion of scary fish-ass Bionicles that I didn't like playing with. See, I never even really got into Legos. I feel like I didn't have the patience. Also, like, I was the kind of kid, like, I was the reason the choking hazard was on the box. Yeah. Because, like, I, a couple of those pieces look pretty, pretty crunchy. Oh, I sucked. Yeah. Oh, I was sucking. You're a sucker. I sucked so you were, much. You were, you were teething. I had a little, like, Shia LaBeouf action figure from uh, Indiana Jones 4, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Don't I, look shocked. No, 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 no. And not, I would, no, 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 and don't I you would dare try suck and that toy <laughs> like it was nobody's business. That guy's got mittens for hands now because I'd sucked all the paint off of it. And if you look it up, that sucked, movie sucked the fingers clean off. If his you body. look it up, that movie came out at like way too old of an age. For you me. were like thirteen. I was too old for <laughs> sure. <laughs> like it's like eighth grade. You're just yeah. like in algebra, just yeah. like sucking the fingers <laughs> off. Child the school, it was like you know behind closed doors. Kind oh, of naturally, thing. you're like yeah. I can't let anybody be I, privy to my sucking tendencies. I don't go to like English class and suck Shia LaBeouf all day. Like I'm there to learn. My guy, <laughs> got to you got to have sucking time and you got to have teaching and understanding time. Yeah. Of all the of all the action figures, why Shia LaBeouf in the last Indiana? Like that's <laughs> arguably the worst movie. I like a nice neutral action figure because when okay. I was a kid, I used to have tons not of action too masculine, figures. not too not too effeminate. Like sort of yeah. like I used to have tons of action figures and I play with them for like a bit, but mm-hmm. then I get bored because I wanted something that I could like. Just suck the just suck just the suck fucking the, into submission. The meat off. Child <laughs> yeah. um, Buff had some meat on his bones, and you're just like that's that's prime <laughs> sucking right there. But no, I liked like I didn't like getting a Power Ranger and being like, oh, I'm playing Power Rangers now. I'd get uh-huh. a Power Ranger and I'd be like, I'm like doing my own canon and like my own characters and shit. So you were fanficking your yeah. you were fanficking your own action figures. Yeah, so Shia LaBeouf wasn't Shia LaBeouf. Uh-huh. It was Shia LaBeouf playing a character that I made up in my head. I love that. <laughs> yeah. With any other was he what with the Power Rangers? It was like typically him and then I had like a Cobra Commander like thing oh. about his size. Oh, see as the villain. You remind GI Joe is what I had. Mm. Oh my god, did I have GI Joe? And then I and then I ripped all their clothes off and you just smash them into each other. Were uh-huh. you the only sexual I was I was the only sexually frustrated <laughs> child? I was sucking, I guess. Yes. I guess it's the same. You, it's a no yeah, I, was, I was participating. Yeah. You were just like voyeuring. Oh like, my god, I was just like yeah. smashing these dudes into each other. Wow. Basically what you do now through your anime medium. Yeah. So speaking of, of dudes smashing into things, Danny got beat up by a mountain last weekend. Oh, I did I know right. we said we yeah. were going skiing, uh, and we did. We did go skiing. And you want you want to tell everybody how it went? Because I feel like I and you have a different perception of how it went for you. I had a I had a good uh I had a good strategy mm-hmm. in the short term. Which is you can only go so fast if you fall every ten feet. Right. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So I was I was spooked by going too fast mm-hmm. because I would get hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go until I learn something new and I'm gonna fall down so I don't pick up too much speed. Yeah. So I'd go and I'd be like, I'm gonna try and turn a little. I turn a little, fall down. Immediately. Learn something new, right? Were you right foot forward or left foot forward? I was. You didn't even figure that out, did I you? Was the, I was. I was were... pretty ambidextrous, actually. Gotcha. Like I could switch eventually, mm. but I was playing it like a roguelite, you know. Like I learn a bit, yeah. Die, die, come reset, back, figure out the map, learn yeah. a bit more, yeah, yeah. And then by like the third run, um, my ass was like bruised all the way up to my shoulders. Yeah, but which is what would happen in the majority of those drawings that were drawn of you. You fucking you, watch you, your tone. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get the, the mountain monster oh my God. snuggling you from behind? Why? Stop commissioning porn of me. If it's going to get drawn for free, I'll take it. I'm not... Like, <laughs> you're as long as I'm you're like requesting it. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm just... I'm throwing, I'm throwing creativity out into the world. So I also was learning how to snowboard. Uh, but you, I, you were such a son of a bitch. You're I, so 
frustrating. It's not. Because you go it's out. It's not that hard. Okay, shut the hell up. It, you it, went out. You drove me out. And yeah. it's me and your girlfriend in the car. And you're like, yeah, like, I, you know, I'm naturally great at everything. I'm just going to pick it up right away. And I'm like. Which, uh, by the way, you also said. Yo, no, I, this is I was not alone in that take good sir once I got on on the board I felt a little confident yeah. that got knocked out of me mm-hmm. real quick but you were like hyping it up the whole time and I'm like all right like l- let's see this fucker like get also, see what they can do. yeah let's yeah. see what he can do yeah then we get there it's taken me and Dorothy like a bit to get all situated and you're like I'm gonna go do a lap on the mountain yeah you come like shredding down you're like i figured it out i figured out snowboarding it took me about 10 feet it took me about 10 feet didn't arc at all like no didn't learn a goddamn nope. thing about nope. humility i one punched man like my way into learning snowboarding thing is though not perfect still can't get my left foot forward yeah so as long as i'm right foot forward i might as well be like sean white but right. left foot forward i every time i fall yeah so i'm going to japan to ski in like in like two weeks who knows maybe i'll rent a board and try it out wow i'm kind of excited yeah. I'm very, very excited. Okay. And so you were about to tell me something before we got on today about the MHA community being mad at us or yeah, just you wh- specifically. Why do you keep making this about anime? Why, I, don't yeah, you want to talk bad. about cereal on our cereal podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't- we, we got a couple of people being like, we got, it was so we got funny. Most people. We got, we got a lot. We got a couple people being like, oh, oh, uh, they started talking about cereal and I would, oh, but then there was a couple people who were like, I don't even care. It took an hour to get to anime. Like I loved, I love the journey, and those are the people we're looking for. All right, if you came to this podcast <laughs> and you're just like, why are you talking about about buttholes? Listen, then you got, we're, we're not your people. If you're listening to this podcast, you're here for like commentary on poop and cereal. Yeah, like that's what we've made ourselves known. That for. is actually the tagline to yeah. the the podcast. Yeah, people were saying that they slowed down our podcast to hear us talk at a regular pace. I did hear that. Yeah. Which like, I'm sorry. That's also not going to change. Watch one of my YouTube videos. I am the opposite of like trying to use long words to get your word counter to 10,000. I will put in words like nobody else. That one's more of like a medical deficiency than like a a content thing too. Like we're just fast talking ADD, Mm -hmm. like adult maniacs. I may, I don't know. I don't think I'm ADD. I don't, because I've been, we've been having this conversation with Dorothy recently, and she can't pay attention to anything. I am laser focused. Oh, yeah. I have, I have whatever the reverse of a lack of focus is. Like, I, if I'm not focusing on something, I get upset. And that might just be capitalism, like, riding me like a hog, being like, if we're not grinding, we're dying. Uh-huh. But, like, I, I laser focus on things. You think you're real focused? I think if you, if you spun my blood down and like gave it like a pill, like a red pill, yeah. it like that could be Adderall. Yeah. Like I think you could derive Adderall from my blood. You think you're real calm and collected as a person? I, I'm not. No, no, no. Never said calm and collected. Uh-huh. Focused. Absolutely. Yeah, focused. Laser focused. Right. Are you going somewhere with this? Uh, you're menacingly holding your phone. Wednesday, 8, 10 PM. Nick, <laughs> Nick calls me. <laughs> I'm watching the last of us. Just, I was excited. Just having a nice time by myself yep. and with my roommate. Uh, I missed the call. Naturally. Nick, pick up. Put a text back after yeah. the call. Pick up. It's an emergency. 911. 9111112111. In parentheses, it's not actually an emergency. I just need to do things the second I think of them. Otherwise, I'll forget and I can already feel this idea slipping from my mind. It's true. Okay, now it's an emergency. Help. <laughs> I'm real hurt, Danny. Blood. There's blood everywhere. And I lost everyone else's number, Dan. You're the only number I have. What? Don't call me Dan. (laughs) How funny I am. (laughs) Uh, It's not over. I can't call 911. I need you. You're letting me die. (laughs) Finally, I call. Naturally. And I'm like, what the fuck is going there on? There was blood everywhere. There was no blood. There was you're, a lot of blood. You're like, hey, we're starting a we're starting a highlights channel. Yeah. For this podcast. Oh, great segue. Such fine news. Yeah. Exciting news for you guys. Su- such well, not life no, or death news. No. Well, I also figured out that you can. There's a new thing, a way to stitch uh, TikToks where you can like stitch a green screen. And you can like be in front of the video, but if you just point it at the ceiling, you can right. basically repost it, and that way it's driving traffic to the page. Right. But also, yes, we are starting a highlights page. That's a fantastic segue, Daniel. Yeah, that was the intention. That was fan. That was that was. See, we're always we're always heading somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's us. So highlights page. So if you know the whole two hour thing is too much for you, we're gonna be breaking the podcast down into segments, uh, which is gonna be impossible for our editor because. Our segments are about two and a half minutes each. 
Uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get highlights. Those are gonna go up like twice daily uh, of the whole podcast. So if you want to watch the podcast in segments, you know, while you're eating cereal uh, or you're you're hitting a bidet, well then you better believe we're you're we're your guys. Yeah. So why are why is the MHA community mad at us? Okay, mad at me. You. They're oh, angry thank at God, because I've done I've done my time with them. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I was hoping you. I think really... everybody catches that bullet eventually. I know. Well, I for like it. It's my fault. This one's my fault mm. for sure. Is it? So we're talking about the MHA community here. So there, it, there was a there was a TikTok that was very funny that someone posted gotcha. that was like it was like man being a parent in the My Hero Academia world would be terrifying. Yeah, because your kid comes out and like it's an egg. Like your kid comes out in an egg, he hatches out, and it's a fucking child with a bird head. Oh uh, yeah, Windex. Oh, the there's literally yeah, the a Windex Lego dude. guy. That was the Windex one was in the TikTok. Yeah. It was like congratulations, it's a Windex <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Yeah. What is the pronoun world like yeah. in, I know. in yeah, My like... Hero Academia? <laughs> what is, there's literally, there's a hero whose thing is that he's a hieroglyph. There is, there is Godzilla as a hero. There's a washing machine. There and is he's like wa- high up in the <laughs> rankings. He's like number seven. He, he's like a Can big only hero. say wash. There's so many cleaning products. I, I think cause they're <laughs> wiping away crime. Zing. I, I, Zing. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's that's pretty, pretty good. good. So, you, you don't want a, a cleaning product to be a villain, though. So, because you'll get stuck in a washer? Because I feel like that's cause for genocide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the... <laughs> We gotta wipe out I mean. all the cleaning things. Yeah. So, you're talking so, about heteromorphs. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, just anything. Like, uh, then I was like, dog... I stitched it. I was like, dude, it's even worse than that yeah. because they get their powers at puberty. Yeah. I'm going to stop you right there before you correct me because I already know I, that's wrong. It's not not wrong. Well, it's wrong, apparently. It's not not so wrong. So I, some, I like heard somewhere, I remember, I thought they get their powers at puberty. It's so they're like- Sort you, of, you're not, yeah, you're not wrong. So you have this sweet 12-year-old boy mm-hmm. and you're like, man, I love my son. We're going to the park or whatever uh-huh. and his birthday's coming up and, and you're white night, knuckling you, it. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, you just hear like, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, dad, dad. <laughs> as he literally like flattens into a higher yeah, like, as he, all of his intestines are pushed out of his body yeah, as like a cannon sprouts out of his throat <laughs> there's, like there's literally a kid whose face is kanji like yeah. he's just like my my yeah, can there's feel a kid my who's bones manga. there's a kid who's a manga panel yeah. and it's like insanely broken ability by the it, way to just create words out of thin air it must suck to like have a child he comes out of the womb and you're like oh he's like a gag yeah that's fun yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you're like oh yeah. good like like yeah, how did like, how did we get this oh windex sweet <laughs> no. like we'll have such a clean apartment <laughs> thanks <laughs> how do like is that just their spit at that point like i guess like, does it have Baku an innate go, cleaning property well baku goes is, sweat is, is sweat, like is nitro nitroglycerin yeah, yeah. Um, all right, you want to smooch after this? I you guess. Finish what's my again, sentences for me. People have already said the ship has sailed, so that's you all that matters. You want it to. You're I, incepting this. Listen, this any publicity is happened. good publicity. You keep being like, yeah, like, hope there's no porn of us. Two best friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might guess. Who knows? Um, so, uh, are they upset that you said it was puberty? Yes. All the comments are like, nah, they come out of the womb. And so it's like... I think for heteromorphs, they do come out of the womb like that. But, like, people do awaken their quirks later. That's why, like, they were like, oh, they're like, oh, it, we don't know if he's going to awaken a quirk with Deku. Because, yeah. like, it like sometimes it happens later. It's between birth and age four, I've been informed. That's it? Yeah. That feels young. I know. And also... So is that for heteromorphs as well, though? I guess heteromorphs typically come out of the womb yeah which is way scarier and like oh tokoyami literally came out as an egg allegedly but like what God, what, how, what happens if you give birth to godzilla he's got spines what's that conversation like with your wife oh. or husband if like you're at the Did hospital you fuck a bird yeah, it's like what the hell is this sharon what is this sunny side up child you just gave me <laughs> I haven't cleaned shit in years. Why is our child a bottle of bleach? No, I don't love this. No, I'm not going to love this Put it thing. back. Put it back. Dude, the adoption rate must be staggering in oh my Oh my God, well, what's funny, well, it's, I guess it's not funny, but like they tackle the problem of like heteromorphs are like viewed as less in like five chapters. Oh, like yeah. everyone's saying that the MHA manga is being rushed right now because um, Horikoshi introduces like, it's Shoji and Koda. 
and they have like their own arc against Spinner in the manga. And Spinner's like, the heteromorphs need to fight back. Yeah. It's like, we need to like suppress non-heteromorphs. It's very Malcolm X. And then Shoji and Koda are like, don't. And they're like, we never, like, you fixed it. You fixed yeah. racism. And they do that in like five chapters. I, I just, like just before coming here, yeah. got to the episode in season six where they like are robbing a church or something. The, the villains. Are they Vikings? They're like robbing, <laughs> they're like yeah, robbing yeah, yeah. a church. They're pillaging. Yeah. And they're like robbing a church. And uh, Spinner is like, he's like, wait a second. I know what these guys are. They're mm. bigots. And I'm like, whoa. 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 Easy, Spinner. Like, Rob them. Get them. I know. <laughs> yeah, right. Kill them. I don't give yeah. a shit. <laughs> Get them out of here. <laughs> but um, I was like, oh, it never occurred to me. That like lizard people that would lizard be discriminated people are, against. Yeah, different than like a man with explosion hands. Yeah, like it's, it's just it's so like, diverse and normalized. Like me. one kid shoots lasers out of his stomach. Yeah, like, like that's the that's the one we should be discriminating against. Yeah, tr it should be by like dangerousness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like oh, like hey, by the way, like don't light fires around me. Like my hands are explosive. Like yeah, you should be somewhere like yeah. with like cotton pads on your hands. It's just funny to me that like the show is so power and like animal diverse mm -hmm. that I like a man who's an actual lizard and a man who shoots tape out of his elbows are the same, same. level of weird to me now. Yeah. Like it's like, I've got Spider-Man, but like with way worse mobility here yeah. in Saro, who just like Shoji and Koda does not get an arc whatsoever and probably doesn't deserve it. That's, that's one of the wildest things to me is people being like, Oh, the MHA manga is being rust. Cause like they want every single character in MHA to get an arc. And it's like, what do you do? You want do you want to? What is this fucking grape kid? Mano, Mano, Manette, no, Manetta. Do you want Manetta to get an arc? Like, do you want like all all the? the I like I like him to change. I I don't think he will. I don't like him the way he is. I don't for want sure. him to get character I development. I want to hate him until he dies. I don't. I I'd how rather did, he die or change. How did die before Manetta. Like we, we got rid of the Dami Mon. Well, you've whoa. seen it. No, you. What are you talking about? Oh no! Chill out with the spoilers. You're by the way, six. how how are we on this fucking oh, anime podcast no. and you keep throwing shit out? Oh no! What are you talking? I That's a manga it. spoiler too. No, no, it's an anime spoiler. It's out. I. That's still my fault, but it's less bad. I can't believe <laughs> it's less. It's, bad. I just told you the episode I'm on. I just told you I found Shit. out there's racism. <laughs> oh. And you're telling me these characters die? To be entirely fair, I do not remember the bigoted church episode. It stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, like, clearly. God damn. I can't talk about shit with you. Speaking of things that aren't Nick spoiling things for Danny, did you know Tokyo Avengers is back? I, I don't even want to comment because you know you're going to spoil this Did you know me? Tokyo Avengers is yeah, back? You yeah, did? it's back. Have you watched it? No. Cause so it's, shut up. So, no, but no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not going to talk. Oh, well, uh -huh. like, it, okay. it's fine. It's yeah. fine. I want to talk about how much I hated Takamichi. But my thing is, is Disney? Because it's, it's Disney. Oh, Disney's going to take it. Disney already has it. Oh, really? They already have it. And I was like, I was like, I can't find it. I didn't know it was back. It on Disney Plus? It's on Hulu. Okay. And Disney Plus. So I got to thinking. So I'm like, I'm like looking for it. I'm like, I can't find it on Crunchyroll. I was like, I know it came out January 8th, which should be like three episodes in right now. I'm like looking everywhere. I'm like, Crunchyroll, Funimation. I'm like, where the hell is this? And then I look at it and it's like, Disney Plus has it. Wow. Why? Wow. Why? That's, That's crazy. crazy. And, now, and now there's those people talking about how Disney is ruining anime and stuff like that and being like, oh, like Disney's like censoring violence and all that. And like, not. Really? I mean, Tokyo Avengers is like, I mean, they're just punching each other. But like, yeah. like I could not for the life of me find it on until I found it on Hulu. And then I was like, if I can get anime on Hulu, why would I ever get Disney Plus? Dude, I would like, I would kill myself before I use Hulu for anime. Why? I hate Hulu for just anime. Just like the UI or it's like you're just like green. Like clearly you don't hate green. It's, I'm a big fan of green. That's, yeah. a, that's a one thing keeping me come back to Hulu. Yeah, yeah that's it. You're it's, just like that color scheme. I like don't understand why no other streaming service like is good except Netflix. Like they're all heinous. They're all wicked laggy. Can you expand? Okay, just lag? It's laggy. It's like a mess. How Hulu? many tabs do you have open? Hulu? No, like on a TV. Like on a TV. Okay, it's like jank. a smart TV. You go to Hulu, you go to a Hulu anime. Funimation all time worst smart TV app. Awful. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Funimation is the worst. Yeah. Funimation like it's a challenge to find you out how to okay. fast forward. You can't do anything. Okay, doesn't you can't pause. pause you, have to, shit. you have to hit the pause button. Yeah, or go forward or go back. Yeah. It's awful. 
it's Funimation is one of the ones where I'm like, oh, nice, the episode's done. I want to skip the end credits. Let's go to the next one. And then it'll just How? roll the end How? credits. Or you, you have to roll to like the last 10 seconds yeah. of the of the episode, but there's a, a minute and a half talking about what's happening in the next episode. You're like, I'm about to watch it. I don't need you to spoil it because if it's you get to the last minute of a One Piece episode, they're like, in the next episode, Nami, yeah. dead? <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> no! Like, I don't, like, look, this... <laughs> So like I when 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 I got to when I got to Marine Ford and, and the you know the Marine Fording happened. Stop! Uh, I didn't I didn't say anything. Stop! And the Marine Fording happened. They were like next episode, get your marshmallows out. And I was like I don't I don't need to know this. Uh, Funimation's the worst one for yeah. sure. I do love the image of just like you're like oh nice time for the next episode. You're like, oh, like, God. Watch Luffy kill Nami and you're like stop, stop please. please. <laughs> Literally this last episode they were like they're like Luffy gets knocked out with the poison from Caesar Clown but they actually Luffy captures Caesar Clown but then finds out about the terrifying truths of the gas gas fruit and I was like that is the synopsis. Yeah. You have told me every I could skip the next episode. Yeah. I, I know what happens. So like Netflix. It is, it is kind of goaded. Because, like, A, A, the skip intro button. So I was watching One Piece on Netflix for a long time. The skip intro button skips the recap. It Perfect. Cuts, it cuts Perfect. you, like, four or five minutes in beyond all the recap. Yeah. And I'm like, how does yeah. not everybody... Apparently, like, nine anime does that. So expedited. Like, an yeah. incredibly efficient thing. I propose... <laughs> the only way I would be fine with <clears throat> Funimation, like, showing you the next episode thing... Yeah. Which is... On a streaming service, like, just cut that shit out. Yeah. Like, I'll just go to the next episode. I'm binging. I don't I, need the minute and a half, like, extra filler here. Here's what they should do. They should start doing fake ones. So, like, at the end of a Dragon Ball episode, it's like, next time on Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Goku kisses Vegeta, but Gohan walks in. Piccolo doesn't want him to see, but Vegeta drags them in. Yeah. Find out next time. The world's Ooh. most revolting four-way. Yeah, like, that would be incredible, actually. Yeah. Just, like, uh, to throw you off the scent a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and now you're like, well, now I have to see this. Yeah, so you're like, like yeah. I, oh, of course I'll do one more episode. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to see, like, go, like... Oh God! Go on and go yeah, watch yourself. Related. Watch yourself. I, just, I was just saying names. <laughs> You're just spitballing. Yeah. So, how did we get to Netflix? Uh, why would you ask that? We were talking about Disney. <laughs> Disney. So you right, don't right. want Disney to own any anime. Like, I didn't say that at all. Oh well, so that's but that's that's, <laughs> that's a prevailing argument going on right now. Is people are being like, oh, Disney's like, ruining anime. I like the idea of you being like, I'm gaslighting like, you. I know. Well, I like the idea of you I being need, like, I need somebody a, a new, to be the bad guy. There's a new female-led anime, and a lot of sexists that's are awful. angry about that. Danny, why do you hate that? Why are you mad about that? Why would like, you say something so controversial yet so yet so brave? I just I just like the idea of you like finding the like straw man and it has to be me yeah, oh, it's that or my uh, dog um no i don't care disney plus not a bad streaming service Ugh. if they start like in terms of functionality why do i need to if everything that disney has is on hulu why do i need disney plus that's true disney plus has the worst browsing experience oh my god it's awful Pri primarily because you like it's always gonna be disney shit yeah like it's on Netflix. Hey, do you want to watch this movie with Robin Williams from 1997? <laughs> yeah, no, like, no. With Disney or with Netflix, it's like, oh, like it's new month. They got new stuff. It could be anything. Yeah. It could literally be anything. This is like, hey, do you want to see a like resurfaced racist animation from 1903? Yeah, yeah they're like Mickey's like, not Playhouse. Really. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not really. Yeah, no. So like, I, I just don't get like, why would I need Disney Plus? I just don't like... Oh, yeah, i got to go watch Infinity War for the third time. They have, like, seven movies. Look, I don't want more streaming services, but yeah. I guess, like... Yeah, I guess it sucks. I would prefer it just stay Disney stuff. But also, pro, but any, always, app, any app that makes it, that doesn't put continue watching at the very top, get the... <laughs> get out of my face. I, if I open a streaming service, I don't want... I don't want Popular movies right now. Popular TV shows. International yeah. movies. Blockbuster movies. Give me what I was watching. Yeah. What I fell True. asleep watching last night, and I need to now I need to go back an hour and a half. True. That's all I need. Any streaming service where I'm watching the show, and then I have to be like, how the hell do I get to the next episode? Oh. Is an immediate turnoff, and that's the Funimation experience. It's awful. Yeah. You just have to sit through ever the same names every yeah. single time. It's like Toei Animation, which who I love. By the way, I'm meeting with a Toei like C suite in like two weeks. God, so we get it. You you're coming. Do shit, we get you're it. Coming. We do shit. I yeah, you're gonna be there. <laughs> Thanks. So uh, we kind of blew through the we kind of blew through the whole Disney thing. Well, so okay, I'd prefer it not 
to be on Disney Plus. Yeah. If they're censoring stuff, like that's whack and annoying for sure. <gasps> like if they're over censoring. Speaking of censored, okay. I watched the first episode of Buddy Daddies. I did too. Oh my god. What did they censor? So nothing. But I was just violent. It was, it was like I saw not so not speaking of well, speaking no, of chicken speaking, pot pie. Spe- speaking I of it being it. uncensored. Yeah. I love that your brain was on Marie Callender's already all the time. I just all the time. your resting your resting yeah. spot is Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Ah, uh, I meant to bring horchata to like have a through line here. You from last where would episode. you have acquired horchata? I, that's the problem. Okay, you have I no still idea. Barely know what You've it never is. met a Mexican. <laughs> You're just I, like I have no, I have no idea how to find horchata. <laughs> I can take you to 19 places within a square mile of here to yeah. have horchata. We'll go next time. So what I was saying, buddy yeah. daddies, good, not bad, not incredible. Yeah, so good. Yeah, better than I thought it'd be. Better than Spy Family. I said it. Untrue. I so untrue. Give me one episode from Buddy Daddies. One epi- episode from Spy Family. Considering we both. Good seen morning. <laughs> My dog just stretched into the frame. I know. Look at this fucking great white look, shark of look a at dog. This dew, dewy-eyed idiot right here. <laughs> um, Absolute goofus. Doesn't even speak English. <laughs> what? Did he? He's done nothing. <laughs> He's done absolutely nothing. I love him. Half the death. But Buddy Dad, um, incredible. There's been one episode. It was good. No, there's, it was, th- there's, there's like three. I am watching. You've in watched dub. one episode. I'm watching in dub. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, because I'm going to react to it, and uh, my audience likes when I do dub. It's easier to digest. Really laid it on thick that the, the blonde one, not gay. Not gay. Not gay. Yeah. Super I not know. gay. I love I love yeah. that Like the first thing they do after the intro is they have him like, roll out of bed with a woman, and it's, it's like... It's like, boy, did I just have sex yeah. with a lady. Like the show's like, they're just buddy daddies. They're and just the audience two dudes. Is, yeah, and the audience is like, yeah, but maybe. And it's like, they're buddy daddies. They're buddy yeah. daddies. Not butt daddies, yeah. buddy daddies. They're buddies and they're daddies separately Wait. Who are also so, buddies. It's buddies first, then daddies. Yeah. Okay. No, they it's really drill it on. Yeah. So, and then he's rolling into the casino and there's these two women being like, come on in. And he's like, we just did it last night. And I was like, oh my God, they're laying out a thing. And then he was just going to gamble. But yeah. here's my thing about buddy daddies. Uh-huh. All right. So like, I get it. Spy family, family friendly. You know, Lloyd knocks a couple people out. Your shoes an assassin, but you never see the blood, you know. You see so much blood. But go on. You do? Go on, Mr. Wrong. Do you? Spy Family, so gory. No, it's not. Really gory. When was the last time it was gory? When... They're shooting sleep darts at him while they're playing tennis. When we first see your assassinate people, comes out drenched in blood. Does she? Like, wicked graphic. Do you remember, actually, when... So there's a scene... It's a flashback of your, and she's coming home to her brother. This was all over the internet. She comes home, she's covered in blood yeah. in the uncensored version. In like okay. Japan and some other countries, there was a censored version where she's where just she's covered in white, and she's like, "Oh, I dropped the milk on the way home," and it's oh, kind of funny, disgusting. What do you mean? It like looks, she she's just it does that, not look like milk. She's just head to toe it's with it. Gross. Yeah. Yikes. It's really And she's like, it's like a flashback. Oh, and she's like a child. It's so gross. And Japan just was like, hell yeah, yeah Let brother. me see if I can find it. Go on. Yeah, so, buddy daddies. So, but like 14 people die in the first episode. Yeah. Like they're just piecing dudes. Yeah, there's some like headshots too. Many, like it's pretty many headshots. Yeah. They kill the girl's dad. Yeah. Like it was, it was. And, I don't and, know if that was the dad. Though. No, they, they show in the end. It's like she has like photos. No, in the end, I think the blonde guy's the dad. No, 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 no. He's like, I, cause like he has like, he has like child issues. Like his, right, like he right, was, right, he had like right, a pregnant right. girlfriend, but like they open like the photos yeah, that and like her, photos. yeah. And it was, it was, oh, and the, that's it, not the blonde guy. Yeah. No, it I, looks I, so similar. I think it was the trafficker dude, gotcha. but they do look similar. So that's my thing. But like the action was pretty cool. The, the music though, giving me big time, great pretender vibes. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Great Pretender? I haven't seen Great Pretender. So good. So it was like jazzy. It was like jazz fusion. It was like fast paced. My Family is jazzy as hell. I listen, Spy listen, Family is I'm so not funky. Saying the, I'm not saying the Spy Family is bad. Spy Family is incredible. It's uh, great. But first episode, comparatively, I'm taking Buddy Daddies. Guess what? What? Little kid, mm-hmm. not nearly as cute as Anya. See, that's nowhere see near right, Anya. See, right there, that's where I'd argue. 
because that kid you adore, argue the, whole, the whole slipping out of everybody who grabs her thing adorable dude this runs in eating cake um like like gums up dude's pointing a gun at her she's pointing at the gun hilarious this kid has the intelligence of a goddamn turn oh and Anya I'm is not, just I'm and not she's, putting and up she's, with dumbass kids she's literally she has one of the lightning bolts no those those are the bad ones what is the, what are the oh, good the ones? Oh, the star? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she has one of the stars, and that was because... Because she hit a kid. No! Or was it because she won the No, volleyball? the Tornadus Bolts was because she hit a kid. Yeah. She got a star, I think, from, like, saving the day? Oh, she was saved the, the kid from drowning. Was that what it was? Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. And then she had the art thing, and that didn't get her anything. Well, Anya... So, Anya she's an has, idiot! No. She can read minds. This, kid, Anya this, little, has, this little kid can't read minds. This kid doesn't feel sentient. This kid feels like she'd How like wander you. off a cliff if you don't watch She's her for like long enough. Four. That's what four year olds do. Stupid age. They're all dumb drunk kid. little adults. Yeah, I'm not putting up with it. I like Anya being like, Anya's smart enough that you can have like her own little episode where she's doting around. Mm -hmm. This kid like can barely understand. I would watch a three hour montage of that child taking the world. There on. was a massacre happening around her and she's yeah. just like, oh, are you my dad, Santa? Yeah. Shut up, kid. Read a book. <laughs> like fucking educate like, yeah, yourself. Like your dad gave her fathers in the book? What a, what a dumb what a, kid. What a, what a Not putting up with that. What, what an idiot. <laughs> It's like, it's like adults writing kids, you know? That's what it feels like oh, to I'm me. Sorry, you, I'm, I'm sorry, like, you want a four-year-old writing this character? Anya's a more relatable child. She's cuter, better design, iconic lines. What do you mean by a relatable child? Relatable kid. I'm like, this kid knows Anya what's up. Anya says three things. And listen, I love Anya. I don't like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like I'm being backed into being the bad guy here. But Anya is just like, waku waku, peanuts, yeah. and... Anya, and like, it. starts plot lines. She's like, let's go do this. We're one episode in. How do we that's not know you this You wanted to start this. You want to start this nonsense. Anya also smart enough to be like, yo, I hate this orphanage. Sucks being an orphan. I want out of here. I'm going to read this dude's mind, say all the answers he wants beforehand. See, but that's the thing. Anya, unfair advantage. But it's being intuitive. Listen. This kid, unless there's a death reveal. battle between these two children. Anya's, who Anya's beating the shit out of her. She's predicting every move. Oh my God, you're right. She does have future sight, technically. Future sight, yeah. She also rocks Damien. Anya's got Byakugan for as far as I care. Like, I, I, I guess I, there's really no future sight ability in Naruto, so. It's like Sharingan a little. It's yeah, I guess Sharingan ever. would be closer, but yeah. But, um, well, like, Anya, it, unless you tell me that this kid was like hopping daddy to daddy, like, on purpose She's a daddy hopper unless she was being a daddy hopper you on purpose trust these children and being, and being like you know what my dad sucks i'm gonna cutesy it up to get with santa yeah i, I mean if i was a four-year-old and i was like santa ultimate dad i think she made a fantastic move oh I, could you imagine living in the north pole i mean sure technically surrounded by toys in a toy factory yeah. with the man who makes every toy yeah i mean sure you'd probably end up having to work for free like one of the elves but like do you think Santa pays his elves? No chance. Santa so doesn't even let his elves go home. What are you talking about? So that's like, that's like full slave labor then? Santa's walking around with a little bowl full of kibble that the elves fight over. Like, of course it's slave labor. Cuts a bag open, throws yeah, it in like, the, middle of the, in the middle of the floor. Santa has like, like stock shareholders come over and he like takes out a candy bar and he's like, hey, watch this. It's like, you two, you two, fight. Pulls, yeah. pulls the wrapper off with like a grenade yeah, and like, throws it in. It's like there are the orcs in Lord of the Rings. One of the elves like falls to the ground. They're like, meat's back yeah, on the yeah, menu. Like, you know what's funny about that bit? What? The, this is a tangent no one wants to hear. Okay. That line, meat's back on the menu. Uh -huh. Are you about to tell me the air gun broke his foot? No. This is one of those no, moments? No, no, okay. no. It just, and this is like dumb actually, now that yeah. I'm realizing it. That line, even when I was a kid, I was like, how do orcs know what a menu is? <laughs> What orc is going into a restaurant and is ordering something? Also, you know, orc guys like, have been alive for like a week. Yeah, like an orc <laughs> guy comes out of the womb, they he's hand like, him the menu, like, and he's like, Denny's. Yeah, he's like clam chowder. <laughs> then like sharpens his sword on his teeth, like. Fuck how? Because it was an orc guy who said it. They've been yeah. alive for like ten whole days. How do they know? That's a really good question. I just think it's so funny. Like, the sick line. Like, really, oh, absolutely. really badass line. Fantastic. Just the idea of, like, an orc sitting down being like, 
What are you? What are you, you doing the crazy fries? Oh, well, no. if you're doing the crazy fries, I can't yeah. do the crazy. I'll, I'll have some of yours. Yeah. What if we? We're all gonna do the crazy. Fr- are we? Are we really? We're being so yeah, bad. We're being so bad. We're crazy so fries bad. for all of us. This except is, you. You're you, you, not, you yeah, keto. Yeah. <laughs> She's on keto. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I had a question that I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. that would have been significantly better suited to ask you while. We were in the MHA conversation. Oh, good. I also yeah. had one. So let's really? bring it back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because like, I was thinking, because I watched your TikTok. It was very funny. What is the last quirk you would want? The last like that's bo- insane. That's, line, that was actually like was I that was what like you were this would be a me? fun thing. Yeah. Oh my god, we're so silly. We're, we're so silly. We're so bad. Oh my god, we're artists. So bad. Rule thirty four, artists. <laughs> Why aren't we just the silliest? We're just so random. Yeah. Oh my God. We are hashtag random. I Three people just drove their car into yeah. the media. <laughs> um, that is crazy though. That was genuinely, genuinely yeah. what I was going to say. So worst quirk. In terms of, can we get some ground rules? Because my mind goes to the tail guy. Just from sheer force of that's the that's work. Disgusting. There's so much work. I know. Well, it's like is well, first it off, his quirk is literally martial arts, which is just dumb. But, but is it like is it like uselessness or is it like because I wouldn't even talk to a dude with a giant throbbing tail. You are the out problem. Back. You are the heteromorph discriminator. You I'd are be, the I'd issue. I'd be so discriminatory. But are like you'd be like, you're like, what's up, Spinner? You know, how's 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 my lizard yeah, man yeah, doing? Yeah, dude's a yeah. lizard guy. Yeah, you'd be like, this I is need gross. a lizard man in He's my He's got crib. a little tuft of like Whoville fuzz at the top of his tail. It's sick. He, it's, it's prehensile. It, it, it allows him to maneuver in the air. He's like a kangaroo human. It's it's so sick. It's gonna make me throw up. Yeah, I, I okay, but that's that's the worst. Okay, maybe not. Well, that's what I'm saying. So is it like what I what would be a burden to live with, or what would be like a bad in combat because burden to live with i don't want to look like a bird from the neck up i think you know but, what but, i mean but dark shadows kind of but sick. dark shadows rad in a fight yeah that's the thing i think let's do both let's okay. let's do let's do both so i'll give you so you'll go worse to live with yeah. i'll go worse to live with then you'll do worse to combat i'll do uh, no well, snake draft worse to live with <laughs> worse to live with worse for combat worse for combat got you I mean, I'm pointing for those of you who are listening. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah. For yeah. the listeners, it's like, okay, here's the order: order. worst to combat, worst, worst to combat, combat. This, this. Yeah. Good. Everyone's on and the same page. And then we listen page. for Neutron's opinion. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, it's like gotta be the washing machine. What do they do? Do we find out what Absolute, their power? Yeah, is? Yeah, it'll be next episode. But like, he kind of just disinfects things. Like he can like float people, and like he can create soap bubbles. Like he like because his body is a washing machine, so yeah. like he can create soap bubbles that lift people. He's kind of like. He like clears out like emergencies. Like he's like he like he's like he, he cleans. Look, like yeah, exactly. But yeah, like also he does he, the he, he does the laundry. He can disinfect wounds. Yeah. Okay. So like like it is like arguably very useful. But, but on the you're other hand, to live for. But on the other hand, because you are a washing you're, machine, you're you're like on Tinder. Like, hey, like how, how five, tall? How tall is he? Like, hey, yeah. four nine, <laughs> quirky as real, hell, yeah. real thick. Yeah. Thick four nine yep. king just looking for his. Not entirely sure I have genitals. Yeah, <laughs> do need a little bit of help. J- just looking for his detergent to yeah. do a spin cycle. Hop, with. Yeah, hop in me and get yeah. on low on low wash. Like you're not meeting anybody. You might have some like cool like if you join a frat and you're like a washing machine dude. They're like they're like pouring beers I think they're in hyped. your stomach. You're like spinning it out. I think they're real hyped. Oh yeah. my god! So you could make friends. Best I'd... party quirk. Also a great great question. I think. Yeah, we got to do best party quirk. Best party quirk. Well, worst to live with, I think I have to go with washing machine. What is yours? Oh, God. That's a good question. I think, well, like I've said, there is there is a literal Godzilla man. There is, mm. that's, but like, kind of sick. Like, you are, you are Godzilla. The top, the top hero in Egypt is, he's Flat Stanley. He is a hieroglyph. Like, and that's like his, his whole power is like kind of fast because thin. Can he shrink? No. <laughs> no, he's just like. Is he always big? He's, yeah, he's just like thin. Right. Like he's just paper thin. That's tough. That's not great. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he could rip easier than other people. I think when it comes down to it, worst quirk that we know of. Yeah. That like we like that we fully understand. I mean, kanji head is pretty bad. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Like, sure, like, okay, like, so like here's the thing. Not only do you have to live in perpetual fear, perpetual fear that you will like will accidentally scream something out and you will kill both of your parents because you dropped the word bed in kanji while talking about going to bed. But like also, your head is quite literally a character. How do you eat? Yeah. What I, what what orifice does the food go in? I think any Oh wait, no, is his head a book? Regardless, no orphi. I think any quirk that's like a bit 
yeah. like a gag tough that's real tough. not terrible for combat like you can like make big walls yeah. or like like drop kanji on people but like if it's just like if you think being like a short scrawny dude is like hard to like find a partner with mm. imagine when you've got like ripped guys like controlling you got ice Lemillion, and fire you got Lemillion's clothes yeah. just falling off every once in a while yeah you got Lemillion <laughs> literally standing there and his clothes slip just, off he's like oh whoops I'm 6'3 and blonde yeah like, and you're like a literal bit <laughs> like you you're, are, you're you, a joke you are a four and a half foot tall yeah. dishwasher you're like an actual scarecrow yeah. man like you are, that's you bust. are a three foot tall grape headed monster yeah yeah that's tough um yeah, what I about- feel like it's almost worse for the women because I feel like there's some like bit women. There's like the there's like the the mushroom girl. Mushroom Meanwhile, girl Miss Midnight running is running around. There's a dragon lady who I would let take me for a flight any day of the week. Like, who, who wants mushroom girl? Mushroom girl's cute. I uh, it's different. It's like the difference between like a hot until and she a cute. sneezes and makes like a bunch of like poisonous gas mushrooms. I think she channels them through a gun. Yeah, I think she can figure it out if yeah. if. By the same logic, it's like, what if Miss Midnight turns into a goddamn dragon, like, mid-going? mid, mid going? Why would Miss Midnight turn into a dragon? Is that not... You just said. No, that no was that's... Like, her name's, like, Rio. Rio you Rio, just Rio. said Miss Midnight said Miss turns Midnight, into a dragon. I said Miss Midnight or the dragon lady. Oh, got you, got you. Problem is, Miss Midnight that's literally... Like, confused. she needs to wear her latex, otherwise, like, she, she like, roofies you. Oh, Miss Midnight sucks. Miss, Miss Midnight reeks, also. Oh, you think her so? You think, powers, smells, you think it smells rip- bad? Whole power, it doesn't even matter. You're not even like staying awake to find There's out. There's also like really no way she can take a shower. Yeah. Like it's just like, I don't know if you ever wore like latex, like if you ever did gymnastics, absolutely did. Tumbling king until I was like six years old. But like, who that it puddles. Yeah. And she can't she can't take a shower, otherwise she is literally like bug bombing her entire building. Yeah, exactly. She definitely smells. You think a UA teacher lives in like an apartment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I you think they're paid bad? I, <laughs> I think so. I, yeah. You think? I don't know. Like, probably as much as a college professor. Okay. College professor is good. You know, yeah. there's respect for the hustle. Also, like, you're not, you're not on the streets. Yeah, true. I feel like that's the big thing. So you're not out patrolling. You're like, yeah, I can't, like, I'm a hero. True. Like, they can call me in. I'm the B squad. But, like, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll do great stuff. Like, Aizawa, like, like present Mike. All, you know, you get pulled up. But, like, they get to chill out most, yeah. like, most of the time. Right, right. All right. So, worst, worst to live with. Worst combat. Dishwasher. Wait. Worst to live with. Dishwasher. Right. Kanji. Yeah. Worst combat, me. I, naval laser? No. What are you talking about? That it, rules. It's, it's a laser beam. Barely. Invisigirl is also not great. That sucks. Invisigirl. You're just invisible. You're just invisible. But you have she like can, stealth missions. She can also like refract the light through her body now. Oh, true. She's like a solar flare. Sort of. Yeah. That one's not great. Um, Big hand girl. That one's pretty funny. There's the girl from Class 1A whose hand just gets big. <laughs> and it's like, I think it's like only one hand. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, it's probably Mineta. I think I'm going to go Mineta. That's it right there. Do you have to look like Mineta? Or do you just have his power? Because if you're two feet tall, yeah, any power it's sucks. Not like, it's not like being 6'6 six, six would fix having grape balls attached to your Absolutely. head. You ever see that scene in The Incredibles when Mr. Incredible gets grape balled into submission? It's scary. I feel like that scene stuck with you a lot more than it's it stuck with me. It's scary and it sucks. Yeah. He's like- And in, possibly awakening. He's on this no chance. No, no. Terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It shot like this avant-garde like nightmare film. Mm-hmm. He's like on this bridge in this like blindingly white room. Everyone knows what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I remember. Just you. And it, like, he's he gets, getting like, he gets pelted. Like one. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah, getting yeah. pelted by these balls that keep growing. Yeah. And they suffocate him. Yeah, but Horrible. like you're not, but the thing is like, but okay, but are you saying that he looks sexy there? No. Oh. When did I say that? I'm saying it doesn't look, regardless of whether or not you look like Mineta. But like this is about combat. It doesn't matter if you look like me and you. You'd still have big purple grapes I'm attached to your head. you give Mineta like all for one, I think he still sucks. No. But if you give like Lamillion Mineta's power, like a six foot tall rip dude, he's using that in a sick way. I'm, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying you still look like an idiot. You look like an idiot. This is for combat. This is the worst for combat. Yeah, but you're saying, did you look like Mineta? And that's 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 because we're talking about. Well, but I'm saying. Oh, because as for as, combat, as, as a two and a half foot man, that sucks for combat. Yeah, there's nothing that you but can do. But just on its own, that power is not bad. Lamillion would be like boxing one for all. With it. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Like or all yeah. for one. I get that mixed up. So all is your still the grapes? Because I disagree heavily. It's honestly a good disagree. That's a good. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say yes. You do look like Mineta, and I'm gonna stick with my choice. Unfair. 
Then fair. How is that? Art? Okay, fine. Separating the art from the artist, worst quirk. The art from the artist. I, I almost that. said Sun Eater, but like, no. What, he, dude? He, he shot a photon laser. But imagine having to like eat like food you don't like all the time to be like, oh, I got to figure out. Like, he had to eat like a horse. To turn into like a goddamn chimera? He had like, to eat like a horse. Like, oh yeah, let me, oh yeah, where's uh, where's that endangered species of seal that's really good for my photon laser? I can't believe you're like, yeah, the guy who shoots a laser beam out of his stomach I and know, a guy a, who turns a into a monster okay, it gives are him, it worse. It gives him a stomachache every time he uses it. He's are like, worse oh, than the literal washing And machine. I'd have to be French. There's a Windex, man. There is no quirk I would take to be French. What are you talking about? You I, have to be French. The, Sun I, Eater's not French. He's, he's French. I don't think you have it's to be. French adjacent, at least. I don't think you have to be. I, I think it's that, like Mineta. I think it's tied in. No, I think I think the Frenchness is tied into the quirk. These are awful picks. I don't I mean, agree with a single I one. I can't think of I think the big hand thing is a good pick. That's, That's an, a fine pick. It's an inherently dumb quirk. You think tail is better than Mineta? Man with tail. I think so. I would rather have a tail than great balls attached to my head. I, think, I feel like I'm not on the wrong side of history there. I think Miss Midnight's is like worse than Mineta's. But for combat, it's pretty good. She can get shot. Just As, shoot her. Objectively, <laughs> just most, shoot her. most people in MHA could just be shot. But you can like finagle with Mineta's. Like I'm sure bullets bounce off of him. What are you gonna, he makes a what, little shield. What are you going to pro protect where the bolts go? You make a little shield. Out of... Uh, out of your balls! You make a shield out of your balls! How fa faster than a bullet? You see the guy's got a gun. And you're like, oh yeah, let me quickly, Wh okay, let me here quickly we create a shield let me like I'm the Spartan army! Absolutely. Let me give you a scenario. You with both... I have a gun. Both... You have a gun. Yeah. Settle down, man. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. Okay, yeah. Come on. Yeah? Um, you have a gun. Uh-huh. I see you have a gun. Yeah. I'm Mineta. And you're just, if, you're just all based off the gun. If there's prep time, well, they're like never in a situation where a dude runs out and he's like, gun. Like they know what they're getting into. So if you know, if you have prep time. There is literally a hero whose quirk is gun. Is gun, yeah. I know. Hear me out. You have prep Great time. Quirk. Both characters have prep time. Gotcha. Mineta and Midnight. And gun, oh. Mineta, Midnight, and gun all have prep time. Gotcha. Mineta can make a shield out of his balls beforehand. Mm -hmm. Midnight? Ball shield. Nothing. Also known as a cup. Nothing Midnight can do. Mm -hmm. Zero. But in the one circumstance of a gun. In any circumstance. In any circumstance oh, no, with I'm, prep time. Oh no, I, I've been surrounded by multiple enemies. Let me just rip a piece of clothing and, I'm, and I can run away. What's Mineta doing if he's getting surrounded by 30 dudes? Fair. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 <laughs> I have wait, nothing. Wait, try and stick everybody's foot to the ground with you a purple try. ball? If you're like... If you're, you're just giving, you're giving me one circumstance where, where Miss Midnight's quirk... And it's, like, it's not even the quirk I'm choosing. Why are we talking about Miss Midnight? Because she's stinky? I'm, just, I'm saying it's worse than Mineta's. Too soon. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not speaking because that means the podcast Big fails. Hand. Because that means the podcast fails and you lose as a result. <laughs> Big <laughs> I'm tanking this podcast. Is my for that. is my choice. What's yours? Um, obviously, because like like I could choose Windex and like, or I could choose like. Yeah, you want like a real character? I want a real yeah. character. Yeah. What's mine? Probably Mineta. <laughs> no. I was, um, about, I was about to literally flip my lid. Um. Uh. I hate tail. I think tail sucks. It's just you're so fixated Out on him. Out of all of them, it's just a tail. There's a guy who has the ability to turn some arms into mouths and ears and eyes, and you go tail. He gets wings. He does get wings. He That's gets wings true. and like tender. He yeah. like is tail man. Duple, duple arms is pretty cool. Yeah. He's not. He's like a Sura. Who? Like Asura, the like Japanese god. Oh, or yeah, 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 yeah. Multiple arms. Yeah, the the one from Asura's Rage, right? Yeah. Asura's Wrath, that one. Yeah, that's a great game. Super good game. It's a great game. Look at us talking about anime this episode. I know. <laughs> For the majority. We of should it. get off. We should get off this topic <laughs> immediately. We got. We wait. We have Party Quirk after, but I think it's Tail. I think it has to be Tail. Oh, I forgot about Party Quirk. Best Party Quirk. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um. It's got to be Todoroki. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you Todoroki. off. Todoroki? It's gotta be Todoroki. Why? Boom, lighter hand. Boom, little rose made of ice. What kind of... You're swooning kind of, the hell out of, of anybody. What parties are you going to? Yo, man. Yo, Todoroki, can I get what, a light? What, what, what kind of Romeo and Juliet... How many people are smoking cigarettes? Weed. 
Okay. <laughs> fine. Dude, what, what, what are you, we, what are we you a 420 are getting, in Denver? Like, oh, who needs a light? Why wouldn't they have their own lighters? When I was in college, it was cool and illegal. Wow. <laughs> and hard. Oh, listen, back when, back when I was a cool kid. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, listen, I, there were so many better things you could have said than an ice rose. Keep the beers cold. Oh, no, we, we don't have enough ice or for the nice. keg. There we go. Ice for the keg. What? Oh, oh, in a bonfire. Boom. I got you. Fireplace won't start. See, I, I understand. We went to parties for entirely different reasons. You were you were going to parties to swoon women with with ice roses. Absolutely, I had magic tricks. Do you know magic tricks? I know a bit of magic. Oh, bud. Oh, god. <laughs> you would so you were just practicing that. Look mirror. at how I'm dressed. That's fair. Do I know magic? You're, you're dressed like Chris Rock's. Chris Angel? You're dressed like Chris Angel's body <laughs> double. For all, Chris you, Rock. for all of you listening on Spotify, I am not dressed like, like Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. <laughs> Just so everyone is clear. Oh. I think you look like... You haven't seen... Have you not seen Rush Hour? That's Chris Tucker. Can you calm down <laughs> before we all get in trouble here? What's Chris Rock? Chris Rock is the one who got slapped in the Oscars. Fuck, you're right. That is Chris Rock. He's a zebra from uh, Oh my God, from Madagascar. I always mix up Chris Rock and Chris Tucker. I'm Ugh. sorry. I'm sorry. Both high pitch, very talented comedians. I'm sorry. Chris Tucker's like, anyway. They're both very funny, but Chris Tucker hasn't been around forever. Yeah. My party quirk, gotta be creative. Fair. So I, fair. I come yeah, out, imagine. So imagine. True. Oh no, we need cups. Yeah. Got you. Oh no, we're out of beer. Got yeah. you. And then, and then, meanwhile, I'm just chugging down food because she technically like converts fat lipids into material. So like, I'm chugging beers. I'm I I'm chugging down as many party snacks as I can. You forgot a table? I got you. Could you imagine like the best parties of all time with her? Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, but again, that like cemented like. Could she also technically make ice? Yeah, I guess she can make ice. Right? Like, I mean, like, I, she can make anything. She can make anything. Yeah. She made a cannon. But it's not sexy when she does it. When she makes ice? Anything. I, or ice. Like Imagine. Her, I would I say mean, her character design is specifically created, unfortunately, to be sexy. But, like, the power itself isn't sexy. If you're, like, if you're hooking up with a girl or a guy and you're, like, you're, like, oh, man, I, I forgot the tunes. And they're, like, oh, don't worry, I got a Beats by Dre. <laughs> So, so, so no, 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 you go, no chance. you go, you go on to say, oh, I want, I want a cold melting rose handed to me. Meanwhile, I can literally just pull roses out of my chest that are going to melt. You... Imagine, imagine. Oh man, I forgot the condom. <clears throat> here you go. I done. It go works. On. I'm out of here. It works. Stayed over. That's what the thing is. Oh, you want, you want a cold. The second you grab a, a, a ice rose is going to melt. But, but it's sexy. Cause... It's the performance. It's being like. It's, it's like, oh man, it's not, it's it like, comes what? out of any part of her body. She can change the eep, it's and like, pull it hey, out of her hand. Hey, what's your uh, what's your favorite flower? And it's like, oh well, you know, I really like daffodils. Oh yeah, that's what that's what I'm explaining. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> coming out of her. There's people who aren't watching us, Danny. Hand. Even better. He's even making better. It out of his it's hand. Like, <laughs> you know, you know like, <laughs> get me a banana. <laughs> Welcome to the ASMR section. Yeah. Once again, three more people into the median. <laughs> this show's officially killed more people than MHA. That's actually not true. That's, um... Unfortunately. I think Todoro... I'm, I think I'm sticking with Todoroki now. It's not a bad choice. Because it's just, it's the performance of it. Like I said, mm. you went to parties to be like, yo, where's the beer? We're playing Pong. This, that. I, like, went to parties to be like, all right, let's see who I can meet. Let's see, like, where, where tonight's going. Oh, you're so social. I love that. I was just like, oh, free beer? Absolutely, as just, much as much and as many as possible. I'm just a lightweight who's bad at games. Sometimes, <laughs> because I, some for some reason, I knew all the frats on, on my campus. I know, I wasn't in a frat, um, but I would, like, stumble into frat parties. I would find the bottle, like, the loose bottle of alcohol in the kitchen, drink as much of it as I could, and just leave. I was, I was a menace. I was a menace to society. That's I was in, scary. in and out. I was like, I don't want to be Alone? here. The floor's sticky. Sometimes. Sad. I Free <laughs> is what it was. I guess efficient. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You go in there, you're like, oh, half like half empty fireball. Yug, 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 yug. I like See the ya. idea that like your roommates are like at home. You're like, hey, I'm going to go out for a drink real quick. Yep. And you're like just slipping. Listen, you literally just walk around the streets. Like a drunk Sly Cooper. Listen, you just walk around the streets of Boston. 
You listen, you listen for a little bit of noise. You walk in, you say, who do you know here? You go, I know Chris. You get in there, you, you yug, yug, yug some alcohol and you get out. No, no Boston frat party is good enough that they're actually going to turn you away as long as you're not there with like 40 dudes. Not that this is relatable to anybody. It's incredibly niche, but just steal, steal alcohol. Oh That's God. what I'm saying. Unless, of course, you're Yaya Rosa, in which case you can just make it. Yeah. Which is nice. the good, ultimate good segue. in party quirks. Yeah. So we also did a poll recently. Um, we asked people in our community tab what anime you want us to focus more on from this season. Mm -hmm. Guess what it was. Vinland Saga. I don't have to guess. Oh, you're not talking to me. It's for the viewers. <laughs> you pointed at me. So I we it was out. Vinland Saga. And conveniently, I had something I wanted to bring up from Vinland Saga because this is a trope I love in anime. Don't you dare spoil any of Vinland so Saga to me, So it was though. really weird to me when they killed Thorfinn in, see, in episode two. And I was like, that was the main character. Like, what are we doing? No, um, it's so funny. Have you I'm ever seen edge. Have you ever <laughs> seen this in anime where they're like, the anime doesn't take place in Japan. And so, like, you know, like, they're Danish or they're English right. in, in Vinland Saga, but they're all speaking Japanese. But, like, they'll be like, oh, your English is so good. <laughs> like, it was like, so So there was one of the, one of the, the other, like, co-protagonist of Vinland Saga is from the season. I completely forget his name. Um, he's talking to this girl he fancies, and she's like, your English is so, no, he's like, she's like, your Danish is so good. He's like, thank you. I'm from the north of England. And it's right. like half the people there were Danish, half the people there was English. I was like, you are speaking Japanese. Like, yeah. why even, why even write the, why even write the line? Yeah. Like it's, like, it's like, we're not speaking Danish. We're not speaking English. We're speaking Japanese. Yes, his Japanese is good because he spoke Japanese in the northern part of England in the 1300s for some reason. Well, it is funny that, I mean, like everything does that. Like Western stuff does that too when it like takes place in like, you ever see like any movie set in Egypt? Not speaking English in Egypt. True. Like, they do that anytime. Like, yeah, that's fair. It's so we can hear it. They did it in Avatar, too. Like, they're speaking Navi the whole time, but we hear English. Is that true? Yeah. No. There's even a scene where it's like, where Jake Sully's like, I used to have to translate in my head, but now it just sounds natural. And, like, his daughter, they do the subtitles, and they fizzle away, and she's like, Eek tundak shocked penis face. And that's the line. That's the, literally the, what the, she the says. The penis face is the line. Penis face is more accurate than the Navi I just made up. Yeah. I, she says that. I, I mean, they're both made up. So I would say it could be whatever you want it to be. I'm not lying. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, you, that's what they say. There's no way it's actually penis that's face. That's the line. Is it actually? Comment. Comment. Let us it, know. Oh, yeah. All the, all the Way of Water fans in the comments here. Yeah. Make sure you make sure. Oh, you yeah. Get... What an obscure two billion dollar in its first weekend movie. I, I, I'm sorry. There's, is, there, is, there, is there Way of Water stands? 100 percent. Is, is there Avatar fans? 100 percent. It goes... made the most money ever. What do you it... mean? Are there Avatar fans? No, but there's nobody who's like, oh, that's my favorite. Like, it's your somebody... friend who we went skiing with, who I won't name because I don't know if I should, but the friends. Amos? Yeah, Amos and his uh, girlfriend. Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Unironic. They were like, that's our favorite movie. Yes. Loved Avatar. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. You gotta I, listen to your friends. I also, I also quite enjoyed Avatar, but favorite movie? Favorite movie. No. My stepsister, favorite movie. That's weird. Yeah. Why? The, why? Yeah. It's pretty, listen, I get it. It was gorgeous. There were times I was watching it and I was like, that frame rate is higher than real life. But favorite movie? Every episode, we get so close to just getting canceled off of the internet. Why? People are going to get so mad. About People Ava love oh, Avatar. Oh, the big, the big Avatar community is going to come yes. from my neck. Listen, It listen. made the most money ever. everybody goes to see it once because they're like, I heard it was pretty. I thought it was pretty. I saw it in 3D. Uh, I went to Juju's screener. It was incredible. But like, I'm not like, oh my God, I'm going to go. Like, I could rewatch it maybe once, you know, yeah. like, you know, go sober, go high. Have fun, you know, enjoy yourself. Watch but, it at least one more time to see, to confirm how she gorgeous says penis it was. face. Oh, but it's a three We're hour saying movie. the same thing. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> that is the same way of like, exactly. Yeah. It's a three hour movie. Yeah. There's an hour and a half where in the middle where they're just swimming. No, Tell me that's somebody's it's, favorite movie. I, yes, it's lots of people's favorite movies. It's so weird. I promise you. Watch movies. People, people like, have a whole accounts, whole Instagram accounts where they turn themselves they into Navi. The, it's because they want to fuck the blue people, right? Yeah. Okay. That I understand. But there's multiple reasons no, why no, no, people no. are having that's the, that's that their feels favorite. like the only reason. Dude, there is an Avatar world at Disney. Yeah, people it, love Avatar. Money. Yeah. The only reason that you go to Avatar World, and it's only a Disney World, but it's because there's one ride where you get to ride the 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 
the flying things and it breathes and it like it like breathes into your thighs and it's like this yeah, is what and it breathes and into your like, thighs and you're, yeah and you're like this is what human touch feels like and it's, yeah yeah oh it's great yeah. and you know they don't wipe it down and everyone's walking around the middle of orlando it's 90 degrees and you're like oh yeah inner thigh meat there yeah. oh it's fantastic i'm telling you People are like diehard Avatar fans. Yeah, because they want to fuck the blue people. But regardless, they're fans. But that's not, that's different. People that's, love that's... it for the world, too. No, yes. what, what world? Yes. What world? Pandora, dog. Because there's tree people and there's water people? What were we talking about? <laughs> we were talking about... Well, Vinland our... Saga somehow. Yeah, but you got to Navi. Right, but why? <laughs> because because they were like, oh, you're speaking such good yes, Danish. Yes, okay. Here's the thing. I was going to agree with you before you became a raging asshole. I... Um... I, oh, I will be vindicated so, in this so take. So I'll, I'll agree with you, though. Also, that are all assholes raging? I'll agree with you that Vinland's, or a lot of Japanese anime that I've seen, at least, yeah. won't do, like, subtitles in different languages. Where, like, you'll watch, like, a movie and, like, two characters, like, a character will go to Japan. Like, a Western movie character goes to Japan. Yeah. You have, like, six lines of dialogue where they're speaking, speaking Japanese. Japanese. And then the entire Yakuza is just fluent yeah. in English. Well, and yeah. then they're like, and they're like, can we speak in my tongue? And it's like, sure, of course. Yeah. It's like they a southern usually, accent. Yeah. yeah, they usually just, like, don't do that in, like, anime, right? Except The Great Pretender, they do it for a bit, where they have them well, literally Lloyd... speak English, and then there's a thing that pops up, and it's like, for the remainder of this, just assume they're speaking in this language. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I love it. I love it when anime throws in like very broken English. Like right. it's like they do it in JoJo's a couple of times. Um, in One Piece, they do it with Frankie. It's the mm, flavor. It's like hilarious. I love those moments. So I'm not asking that they do it in English. It just seems like such a silly thing. It's just such a silly because <laughs> it's, it's, it's not an it, it's not a necessary line. It's not like this line is moving the plot forward. But like, right. you speak such good Danish. What we don't need that. Yeah. Just be like, just be like, you speak good for because yeah. he's like, you know, like he's like like a slave guy. And be like, oh wow, you seem educated for a man who works the tales for my father. Right. Like it's like it's like say something like that. Don't be like, oh your 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 Danish is great. And he's like, oh yeah, well I actually learned it while I lived in England, but I speak Japanese. It's stupid. I think it's okay. It's fine. You like you like me yes anding you. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. All right. Let's Wait. get to what. I want to... Unless you want to move on. I, I was, was just going to... Unless you want to keep I talking was, about Vinland I Saga. Was, and, it, and you were... I don't, Have you read the Vinland Saga manga? No. Why? Thanks. You want to spoil it for me? No. We can do a one for one. God, I wish. I'm going to cook through the manga come, come just on. to... Come on. Give me one. I'm, no, give me, I'm give not me even, the most. Give me the, give me the most recent death. I, I'm not even caught up. We're going to bleep this part. We'll bleep it. Don't, don't you worry about it. Don't you just... Come on. I'm, I also don't get, have the knowledge. I don't have the intelligence. Get a vengeance spoil. I don't. Come on. I can't. I'll think of something I can't. I thought you said you've read the Vin in the Saga manga. Not all of it. Huh? Are you beyond the anime? Nope. You're not beyond the anime? No. Why wouldn't you just watch the anime then? Because where I'm getting it to... Okay. I like the manga better. Than the anime? Than the anime. Why? Manga's sick, dude. The manga is so good at the like, yeah, the manga's rad, bro. It's um, gnarly. The manga is great in the same way that One Piece is great. The manga in that the uh, artists are so good at those like you turn a page and it's just like, like blindingly white background and like provocative, like striking image. Like when Thorkel dies, his dad, right? That's the name, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. dude with all the arrows. In episode yeah. two, yeah. 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 That image in the manga uh. is so striking. And in the show, it's like, it's whatever. It was it's a fun. cool scene in the anime. It didn't like move me in the anime. In the, in the manga, I'm like, oh my God. Like you sit there and you like drink it in. Yeah. And I guess that's like, You're like oh yeah, give me that child yeah. trauma, baby. I guess that's like a general point for manga over anime. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't always It's usually feel that better. Way. Yeah. It's usually better. But I just love, like, Vinland Saga is a great example of, like, a manga that has those great, like, you just sit with the panel for a bit. Um, that's One Punch Man for me. That's, yeah, like, One know. Punch Man, you just, like, it, and that's what, the One Punch Man manga will always be better than the anime, but that was a stacked deck. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't expect animators to get to Yusuke Murata's level like it just it would be in pot it would be a billion dollars like demon slayer animation is the only thing or like violet evergarden or like uh children of Wales are the only thing that i ever think that like could perfectly encapsulate one punch but like with the amount of action the amount of frames you need it would be a huge ask it would be insane so like i, I actually recently did a tiktok where i was like is Demon Slayer the only... Oh, God. How'd that sound, everybody? I saw this. Go yeah. on. Oh, is, is, is Demon Slayer the only manga that's worse than the anime? 
because the mangaka of Demon Slayer, uh, I think, I believe, I, I think. I won't know. She? I won't know. They might, I'm gonna, they for safety. Um, they like really progressed their art style throughout like the progression of the manga. Right. It was like, it, arguably bad for a little while. Like Mugen Train in the manga, bad. It's rough. It's, rough. it's not good. It's like web comic level. And like, you're like, and then you go and you watch Mugen Train in the anime, it's just gorgeous yeah, and like the, and the pacing's good and like and there's no like filler or anything and i was like all right i was like putting out the question for everybody i was like what is an anime that's better than the manga and prevailing pre can i take a guess go ahead is it not demon slayer it's something different well no no, no. people are saying that demon slayer absolutely oh, got you. but there's others can i take a guess of the others sure death note the anime is better than the manga oh yeah I would say so. As of, no, no, dude. No, 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 no. Why, 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 uh, there's why? A, there's a large contingency of people who very, I think they changed the ending. I think the ending and the, the anime and the manga are different. I, I think it's a Tokyo Ghoul situation. I don't know about that. Okay. I agree that the ending in the anime is bad. It gets bad post blank because I'm not a piece of shit who spoils. That happened like 10 years ago. Don't matter. Anyway. Uh, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> um, the well, I think like the Jiraiya mute... dies. I'm sorry. I had, I had to. I had to. What is wrong with you? Had... Why? <laughs> Why is it because like people a... get upset when I say that? And I'm like, it happened in 2013. Why is it like blood for the blood god here? Like <laughs> blood for the blood but god. How are you? Okay, here's something interesting though. You uh -huh. are like a Naruto YouTuber, partially. Uh, yes. No, you're not wrong. Is your is part of your job and your joy, your childish, whimsical joy for life. Yeah. Not partially. Bold of you to assume I have joy for life. Not partially rooted in getting new people into Naruto. No, that scowl's not telling me yet. I, sort of. Because that's why, I mean, like, I react to things, so I get spoilers the whole way through. Yeah. But, like... But yeah, like whenever I'm doing like the TikToks that are like, you know, you should check out this show. Mm -hmm. It's like the intent is to get new people into it. Yeah. So you're saying you're I shouldn't like, spoil things because that way people won't get into it. Well, like if our goal is to get people into something, not yeah. that it won't get people into it. Like uh -huh. I've never heard a spoiler and been like. Well, I'm not going to watch that. Yeah. Can't but, watch one punch man yeah. anymore. Like I knew, I know he kills everybody in one punch. What's yeah. the point? Exactly. Like yeah. I knew the death note one and I still watched it all. But, um, so you, but have you read, so you haven't read the, the manga. I read, death note. I read a lot of the manga. Okay. I read like the first so four why, volumes. Why is the manga worse than the anime? I think the music and like cinematography are so true big parts of the music is very good. of the identity yeah the music's very good and also those scenes where it's like a top-down camera angle and it's just like and ah, it's, da, da, it's da. just like swooping in and he's doing this like yeah he's just he's just yeah. lighting the hell out of that notebook I, I think it's huge towards its identity it's so dramatic it's so sick it's huge towards its identity and also it's not what i would expect reading the manga which is like i, I talked about this with like chainsaw, chainsaw man, man yeah where it's like that always like is hype to me where I'm like, Oh, this is like, they've like developed an identity mm. with music. Like death notes. Music is part like, like goth metal oh, and yeah. part like cathedral shit. It's just like an organ pipe playing like my it's chemical so romance. Cool. And you're it's like, so absolutely. Cool. Give me this. Yeah. That's fair. I think, I think the big thing was the difference between the ending. Like, I think, I think mm. there is a difference in the endings between uh, death notes, anime and the manga. Tell me in the comments. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I believe, I believe it is. But so what I heard was Hunter Hunter 2011 oh, yeah. uh, and blue lock. That's what oh, really? those were oh, the prevailing already blue lock. Yeah. People Interesting. Are, which is wild, right? Yeah, we're like what? Intense. 15 episodes in. Yeah. But like, I don't. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. listen, listen, Bandai. I apologize. I'm going to, a, uh, we're, we're going to a Bandai event in a couple of days. We're going to actually, this is a great little plug. Uh, if you're in Los Angeles, uh, me and Danny are going to be at a Gashu pond, which is a, it's a gotcha thing where you put in the quarters and you spin and you get statues and all of that. It's in little Tokyo. Uh, it's in the underground mall. I think it's called uh, anime anime underground. I believe is what it's called. Uh, it's on February 1st. Uh, me and anime, uh, me and Danny are going to be there uh, representing uh, Bandai Namco. Uh, so the pod will be there. So if you guys want to come, uh, that'd be huge. If you're in Los Angeles, little Tokyo. Uh, what I was saying though, there's definitely times Blue Lock animation isn't as good as we hype it up. It's got some bad CGI. 
It's, well, it's, oh, listen, there's times it's incredible when they get the swirly eyes and there's kicks and all that. There's a couple of bad CGI moments. I got a question for you. Yeah. Which I brought this up in a recent video of mine, actually, okay. where that isn't out yet, but okay. I just realized, but how do you stand? There's a big push right now in modern anime mm -hmm. When they need to save time on animation, which is always understandable because yes. animation's wicked hard and they're never given enough time or money. Mm -hmm. When they need to save time Are on animators, the elves of the real world. Absolutely. <laughs> We're the little boys and girls. The head of Mappa just yeah. cutting, just like Santa, cutting the top. like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just grenade throwing people into there. Um, there's a big push when they need to save time to do CG scenes. Yeah. Like they do CG, which makes sense. Whatever. I find it always jarring and I hate it. Yeah. Do you but, remember Okay. The the like strategy used to be they would just take a still image and shake it. I miss that. So I prefer that. They did that in Bleach and it infuriated me. Really? So like that was one of my biggest qualms with Bleach is that like like in the Iran car arc mostly, it would be like, oh, like in order to show that somebody is traveling at a high speed, it would put like them like you know, like in like a in like a jumping position. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, for the, our audience, for our listening audience. Yeah, and then in the corners they would do like the black stripes, right? Like in yeah. towards them, and they'd be like, "Wow, he's moving quick." And that was like how we kept getting movement. And I was like, "This is awful. Yeah. I hate. It. I hated it, dude." So like, I honestly think I prefer. Ah, it's it's a it's a toss up. But this is an incredible, and I'm an incredible caveat to my best boy, which is CGI. Your best boy is CGI. My best boy is CGI. Why? So this is this is a fantastic because mostly because of Vash and and Trigun Stampede. So I got to thinking with Trigun Stampede coming out and all of that. With Trigun Stampede out. Yeah, I mean it's like four or so episodes in, and the most recent episode was insane. Like CGI is getting to the point where it is viable. Yeah, I think hundred percent. I think CGI is at the point where like I mean I I'm sure it costs a lot of money for Trigun to do it, but maybe not even. Like, I, I'm sure that, like, that level of CGI is probably comparable in cost to hand-drawn. Maybe I not. I don't know. I have no idea. Because it would you could do it, like, procedurally on a computer. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. We're not smart enough to have this conversation. Yeah. But it got me thinking, as I'm watching Trigun Stampede, is it's not the first time that, that, like, good, really good CGI has been done. Because Kengen Ashura, the fighting anime on Netflix, highly recommend you watch. Have you watched Baki? No, Baki's so ugly. <laughs> it's the early seasons of Baki are fine. Later on, it gets bad. Okay. It gets really once Netflix picked it up, it was a nightmare. But Kengen Ashura, like the first. What is Kengen Ashura? It's like is that like Megalo blocks. Sort of, if it was uniquely much more violent. It's oh, yeah. kind of a wild premise. It's like companies from all across the world hire fighters. And if they're like, let's say like I'm Johnson and Johnson and you're Gerber or something. And we're like, who gets to Is do it usually baby products? <laughs> yeah. But like who gets to put more like, like fine metals in baby food. And right. I'm like, I want to put more fine metals in baby food. And you're like, no, it's me. Not on Gerber's watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we both have our like dudes fight. Right. And then oh, like, right. who's ever dude like wins, like they get the contract. Gotcha. Wild. Gotcha. So, and, and like, there's this whole like underground fighting ring and all that. So that's can't get The CGI, incredible. So I was like thinking, I was like, there is a trend as we're moving forward with Trigun and Kangan and all that where CGI will become viable. So if that's my option, like semi viable CGI over black stripes on the sides every single day, dude, every single time. CGI has been viable since B stars, in my opinion. Is that all CGI? Oh yeah, but it's not like there's no like crazy movements. Scenes. There's crazy fights. Is there really? Yeah. Are, I got, have you uh, seen it all? No, I got to the bunny started taking her clothes off. And you I got just, to episode two. Like, what are you talking about? I got uncomfortable. You, stop engaging in B stars conversations with me. I I, I was like, you oh, keep was tricking like, me. I was like, I need to I need to give this a fair shake. It's a drama anime. I'll enjoy it. And then the bunny started, and I was like, dude, it was like Lola Bunny all over again. And you got to like, get to episode bunny. three. Episode three is the get fully naked. No, in that? no, no. She stops being in it after episode three. Oh, pretty much. Incredible. She's like a main character, but she like fucks off every now and then. I love that for um, us. Episode three, uh -huh. great fight, really intense episode. Yeah. Amazing animation. Beastars' animation is so, so good. And it sucks that Beastars has the like furry, like, oh, I don't want to see a rabbit naked, like reputation. Uh-huh. Guess what? Newsflash, I don't either. Uh-huh. 
But here we are. But here we having are. Having a conversation. Because the story, it's like one of the best anime I've ever seen. Like really? genuinely. Like one of the best shows I've ever seen, story-wise. Did you, did you at any point? Watch you yourself. Like, tread. Were you like? Tread light. <laughs> the rabbit's kind of hot. But. Absolutely not. Oh. I am a God-fearing American boy. Yo, but hey, but hey, but that wolf though. Yo, but that wolf with tits. Lagosh, there's a wolf. There's a wolf with tits, tits though. Hey, listen, as far as fursuits go, that one's the most common. That's, yeah. that's, no. Wait, we had this conversation in, in Big Bear as, no, no. as we're on the topic of, of what our fursona be. What our fursona would be. I said ferret. You said ferret. That's right. What did I say? Uh, oh, I said ironically it would be a giraffe, I believe. I think it would be a giraffe. Bad fursona. Why? Sorry, any giraffe furries out there. Do you think is the uh the toys r us is that a, is that a fursuit does that count if you were to if you were in it if you were in yeah. it if ye be in it if even if it's branded yeah or is that cosplay yeah i think tony the tiger's tony furry the tiger. cosplay that's furry cosplay it's furry cosplay so any animal mascot wouldn't that be like every nfl team technically like by your rules every animal like the yeah, seahawks yeah, 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 yeah. the broncos you think you don't think there's rule 34 of like the seahawks mascot thank god you chimed in i don't know any <laughs> sports mascot i was gonna say the green meanie is that one right the what's the that? green one with the big the honker is that philadelphia what? the green meanie the green meanie <laughs> I know the rock cat. Are you talking about? Are you talking about? Are you talking about the green monster? Yeah, you, sure. You talking about the Red Sox? Yeah. I forget what Wally. Wally. Yeah. Wally. I don't know. Yeah. That's that one. The green <laughs> With the big like horn for a nose. <laughs> Chill out. I did theater. <laughs> I was in theater. There's actually gonna be. You know it's funny. There's gonna be a green meanie mascot, and everyone's gonna be like, "Nick doesn't know anything about sports." I'm and you're right. Just, you're gonna be so vindicated. You think I'm not the authority on green? <laughs> you think I wouldn't know? You think I don't live these colors? Yeah. So, what you're saying? <laughs> I'm repping the green meanie right what now. What you're saying is every mascot is a furry. Yeah. Here's what I wonder. Uh huh. For some reason, Mr. Krabs popped in my head. Are crustaceans furries? Do no, you have to be furry? No, those are scalies. Oh. Uh, I think. I think there's are a they reptile. Snippies? I think there no, I think there's a I think there's a reptile. <laughs> Let me, no, no. <laughs> They're big meaty <laughs> claws. Stop, please, immediately. I think there's a subsection of furries referred to like if you're a reptilian. Referred. Referred to as scalies. I think. Gotcha. You may be right. I know like dragon kin is a thing. This is a question for everybody. What do you think our personas would be? He says ferret, I say giraffe. I I I think I, like mo like thing is I feel like you have to separate your first sona from your spirit animal. Spirit animal, water buffalo or a moose. You know I'm not big. I I don't know why I go for big. It's probably a compensation thing. But like I don't know what else I would be. Mm. Let's go each other. Okay. What you would be? What well, yeah, I think yeah, you yeah, would what, be? What my first sona would be? Uh, peacock. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, P are you calling? Well, I don't think I'm that flamboyant. You just like, not like because of the color. You just roll up to a crib like, all right, here's the, here's the itinerary. Yeah, I'm and very like, type A. Yeah, very type A. I think Peacock. Is it bad? I think Ferret was really, Weasel was really good for you. If you had me choose my own spirit animal, uh -huh. I was going to say Ferret again. So I, I think I'm Weasel was right. really. Yeah, like. Cause I just look like I could wiggle into a crevice. You, 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 you <laughs> kind to do. It's that or capybara. Cause I, I feel like everybody in the animal kingdom really fucks with capybaras. And I can't imagine somebody like meeting you and not enjoying your presence. Oh, stop. I just, oh, stop. I'm just saying like, I just like you give off big time capy. You also oh. seem like you would let a smaller person, like if there was a smaller, yeah, yeah, like motherly vibes. Yeah. Like right yeah. on top of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think, I think that, I think that would be good for you. Right. Yeah. The, my rule 34 artists also think that it was like, it's just like, they you, also think I'd have people right you? on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you never get to be on top in your rule 34? That being said, there was people in my discord who said you gave off bottom energy. So look at me. I hate to just give. fucking look at me. <laughs> I got some, nothing, guys. We need to get some tattoos on you. I got no home. Yeah. I got no people. Are we in your house or this was your house? I'm a fraud. <laughs> oh, the, God. He's not even the green meanie. I'm not even <laughs> yeah, the green. Just leave that on, bud. Oh, jeez. So who's your best boy? Um, My best boy is... It was gonna... Can I have two? Can I have a best boy and a best girl? Yeah, sure, why not? Best girl. Best girl. Birdie Wing. 
I watched a bit. Is her name Birdie Wing? I think. I okay. hope. Okay. I watched a bit. What her is name a bit? is Birdie. You, I watched, I feel the, like you I watched the first out her episode. Name. Okay, yeah. I watched the first episode. It's wild. Have you watched any of it? No. Let me give you the rundown. Okay. Brief rundown. So it starts off, it opens up, it's some golfing bullshit. And I'm like, it's just like a woman golfing. It, it, I, I, that seems like to be the premise. Yeah, yeah standard. I'm mm. like, okay, it makes sense. Good for that. For anyone who needs clarification, Birdie Wing is an anime that came out in 2022. Talked about it last. It's nominated as one of the best original yeah. animes, meaning it doesn't have a manga. Yada, right. yada, yada. It's about golf. Uh, it's it about is, a woman. It is about golf. About a tall woman who golfs on a crop top. Mm. I was sold. Mm -hmm. um, so opens up some golfing nonsense, whatever. Ah. And I'm like, okay, I'm on board. I really want to see, like, I want to get into golf. I was excited for this show to be mm. like, here's like the la la land of golf. Like, here's why golf is sick. You know? Oh, you were a theater kid. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Please. I was hyped. Yeah. And so I'm like, we're going about it. I'm like, all right, this is like pretty normal. And then it cuts to a scene where like one of the golf champion women is like talking to another person. Okay. And then mid conversation, that person rips their face off and their birdie underneath the head. And I'm so like, she's what? the golf champion or she's just in, uh, it, she's in the mob. It's like a mafia golf show what yeah she like takes off her like mission impossible mask and the, and they're doing like golf related like jobs like she's like how much is this one and they're like six thousand yen and they're like all right i'm in that's like 42 dollars but yeah continue it's probably more yen then <laughs> but, <laughs> it's like, it's like um, not a lot yeah. but um what's it called it's nuts and she's doing like she's doing like attacks like mm -hmm. her her swings have attacks she'll be like she'll be like direct hit blue bullet and That's like does so something sick. it's hype yeah it's super cool and people in the comments are like i scroll down in the crunchy roll comments and they're like uh this is a disgrace to real golfing pass fucking watch golf i don't know like no one watched skate the infinity and was like this is a improper portrayal of skateboarding why is he not wearing a helmet shouldn't he be on a <laughs> boat ramp where are his knee pads no give me homoerotic energy on skateboards he all i'm asking for here's the thing though i do get the appeal of like or i do get the want to be like yo this is an anime about golf i want it to be like by golfers like for the general public. Well, first off, the the Venn diagram between golfers and anime <laughs> creators is two circles. Well, that's what I mean, though. <laughs> like, 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 what do you want? Your fifty five year old like uncle Take being? Your time. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to think what's what's it when they what's when a all family the, member when you all orphan the, when all the rich people come together and they have the golf. Uh, country club. Yeah. You know, your 55 year old country club uncle being like, oh yeah, let me see what I can write. Like, <laughs> what be, I can whip up. It'd be, it'd be awful. I, but like, no, I get that. It's like, like what's an, like, like if I watch Rush, the racing movie, the not anime racing movie. Okay. I saw that. That's like based on a true story. It's like based in formula one. Yeah. And after watching that, I was like, oh, I feel like I learned a general knowledge of Formula One. Yeah. And it was engaging. Like, okay. it wasn't like an over, it wasn't like speed racing. You're explaining IQ. I've learned yes, IQ. so much about volleyball from IQ. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. I understand the appeal of being like, you know what? I do kind of want to learn about the thing. Oh, so you're learning it. nothing about golf. Like, what not do you need yet. to know about golf? Ball well, stick hits. Well, well, I'm saying there's 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 three rules. Yeah, yeah there's few rules for yeah. sure. But I'm saying like, so I get like that disgruntled comment. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I also have been on the other side where like the hobby of the anime was like too specific like there was too much on it you ever watch food wars yeah I, i'm not I, I i guess i am now publicly admitting that i've watched food wars but yes how I much have. up to the fourth plate holy shit you, I, I, wait I four, was, episode four or no, four season. season holy shit i was there so was so much there was a time wars. i was <laughs> oh my God. i've also seen all of monster masume uh date alive there was a time harem anime was my favorite genre of anime have you seen rosario uh plus vampire oh, rosario vampire that was my first and only other than food wars i guess so bad i loved it it I'm sure fun. you did. The animation was awful. I hate that. I saw it when I was I like 13. It had I hate that art style. Every time I see the long, gangly... Like, Code Geass, the only people I'll allow get away with it. Oh, just like a Chaos Emerald sitting atop like Jack Skellington. I hate yeah, it. I feel it's you. awful. Um, but I 
I do, I react to Food Wars for Patreon. Gotcha. Just fin like shirtless this month. Dressed in in teriyaki squid. I know. If I do season two, it's got to be in like an apron. Like I got to go harder for it. <laughs> Naturally. I know. But uh, so I just like this month. The end of this month right here will be the one year anniversary. So I finished off season one. Nice. Finally. We're doing one season a year. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Hate the show. Oh, it's awful. Don't like it at all. But here's why. Because it's not. It's not like B stars where. The meme. I would hope so. It's not like Beastars where like you can watch it for the meme. Like if my friend was like, I want like, I want something that's like the most batshit side of anime where every episode one ups, one ups itself in terms of crazy. Gotcha. I could give them Beastars. Okay. If you give them Food Wars after episode three, they get the shtick. And it's it, like, like he cooks food. It's really good. It's better than the other food that got cooked. And, uh, and then they get naked. And, you, and then they get naked. And, and you better believe that main ingredient is having yeah. a great time with who's ever eating but it. But like, that's what I mean. Like the, the naked bit isn't shocking enough after episode four. It's just, it's like repetitive to me. Like it doesn't get crazy. You just get than used episode, to it. It's like you, slamming yeah. heroin. You're just like, I like, I need to up my dose. You get used to it. And so then you're left with just like, minutes upon minutes of like the chemical breakdown of food yeah. and i'm like what what is this yeah what am, why am i learning more than i am hard yeah like <laughs> like they have the most confused boner i, I you just like you see like a scallop that night and you're like oh. i'm like an expert on the glycemic index because of this stupid show of if ever there was a way to learn borderline chemistry yeah not the worst Ugh. Like, listen, it's like, it's either that I disagree, or, or the worst. Cells at Work. I I don't know. Isn't Cells at Work good? It's People incredible. told me it was good. Yeah, if you like, if you want to learn like basic biology. It's yeah. like Osmosis Jones, right? Yeah, yeah Osmosis Jones, yeah, with like cuter anime girls. But yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Osmosis Jones really paved the way. For being inside a man. Yeah. For, yeah. Being inside, <laughs> for an anime about the, inside the, a man. The revolutionary topic of yeah. entering men. Of being in Bill Murray. So your, your best girl is Birdie. Yes. Who's your best boy? Thank you. Final Fantasy 14. The video game? The MMO video game. Okay, that's like four and a half years old? Well, but it's like World of Warcraft. I, it's like, yeah, what? It's, it's, it's the one of the biggest MMO RPGs right now. It's a, 10 years old or nine? It's it came out in 2014. 10 years old? 2014. It still looks great. So six plus three is nine. Is nine. Almost there 10. There we go. Yep. Um, yeah, looks great. If you go through the expansions, which you have to, it's not like WoW where you can just like jump around. Yeah. Um, the graphics improve significantly. As you get to new areas? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's cool. Like they really, and the uh, graphics updates coming out in the next expansion. And is that why it's your best boy? It's my best boy because I've been chugging along through the expansions. Gotcha. Uh, Shadowbringers is the second most recent. Mm -hmm. So I just beat Shadowbringers. I have one more and then I'm caught up. Shadowbringers is like claimed to be the best expansion in like any MMO. It goes so hard. I love Final Fantasy 14. I feel like I'm a girl who came home from a first date <laughs> and, and you're like, like explaining how Valorant works. Yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm, like, I am, I'm sitting in a gamer yeah. chair, just petrified. Yeah, I, please, like, please continue terrified. about, about shadow bringers. Yeah. I'm just like, look, there's 200 champions. Demacia was a, was a region. And <laughs> you got to raid your way. Okay. Yeah. There's 600 <laughs> champions. There's unlimited <laughs> gem whoa, whoa, combinations. Whoa, whoa. We don't do that for free. Yeah, what are you wait, doing I'm sorry. Here? I'm sorry. I meant easy. Yeah. Don't raid yeah. your way. Yeah, do not raid your do way. Do not raid your way. Don't, don't even, scan this uh don't scan this up here. This QR, <laughs> QR code. You will not get free silver yeah. from me. Um but Final Fantasy 14 is just so like such a crazy experience. And it's anime related, so I'm not cheating. Final they, Fantasy is like J Japanese, it's anime. Yeah, okay. all, all, all Japanese but things. But come on, are anime. it's like an anime game. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Um I'll give it to you. I'm a little cat boy in it. Like Oh, I was the little one. The Oh, uh, the Lalafell? Is that what they're called? Oh yeah. Adorable. Yeah, they're was, really cute. But I wanted him to be like I was like a Lalafell, like with like a big old spear. Yeah. And <laughs> I was just stabbing shit out of people. You were a Lalafell uh dragon dragon something. Yeah. Fuck. And I was and I was I was like, this is an unfair advantage. Yeah. Cause like imagine I'm fighting against somebody. You know how hard I am it's like to Yoda. see. Well yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. so I like, it's like because like in an MMO you do have to click on people, right? To like <laughs> to like like attack them. So I'm like, oh, oh, you're gonna run around with your big old orc? I can hide in bushes. Yeah, I'm you're I'm gone. waiting for you. I'm slicing your Achilles as you yeah. go by. I am like it's like it's why the Ewoks were successful in combat. Sometimes being little but thick is is kind of a big advantage. Just gotta be a little and thick. That's literally how I live my life. Yeah. So best girl, birdie wing, best boy. Final Fantasy Final 14. Fantasy 14. Just in general, play it. It's the worst 40 hours you'll experience. The first 40 hours. The best 200 plus you'll get after that. Like Interesting. That's a large entry barrier. Huge entry barrier. But I think the fact that it's like an anime game helps because people are used to like, yeah, Hunter Hunter gets great in like episode 40. That's what I've heard. People say that about I One will Piece. Stab you. you I think it's good right Hunter out the gate. Hunter Hunter is yes i oh you am, when am he's I, like going through the woods helping those big like pikachu monsters that's and like a very accurate summation of what they are yeah uh, but like i think that's cute like honestly I, I, as a man who has the entirety of the chimera antark on his arm when they're in the when they're in the hunter exam everything's like chill he's meeting he's meeting you know he is there he's the bad guy he's meeting uh. kilawa like leorio Kropika. the gang's all together before like Kropika goes on like an eye hunting mission and leorio's like helping sick children in like third world countries and kilawa's just like a murderer and gone doesn't have nan anymore it's just nice yeah. it's like the calm before the storm but that's only nice when you've experienced the storm and that's like that's like final fantasy 14 because i'm now that i'm in the later expansions yeah. and i'm like 300 hours in and i like i love all I these yearn, characters i yearn for the early days yeah well yeah. i'm like yeah the like, shire all these people are like dying on me and i'm just like man like how far we've come you know like yeah. you do look on that horrible You're the dude base sitting, like, game. sitting like completely slouched with his keyboard in his yeah, lap being like uh stop pulling aggro dps what are you doing that's me you're an idiot i hate you so much Please i'm the guy laugh. from the south park episode exactly the show you've that's, never seen that's how do you know that because you've told me yeah i've never seen because i keep getting pissed because you keep like, you keep making references makes, to shows you don't watch it makes me feel dirty watch it. i don't know something about south park i watch it and how makes old me, are you it makes me feel like yucky I don't know. So young. <laughs> I, I just makes me feel, I, something about it makes me feel yucky. I don't like it. I like, I, I was a family guy. Family guy, American dad, growing up. It's a more refined humor. Brain dead pick. I was a, how dare you? A nuanced pick. I, okay, I'm sorry. I was, I, if it means anything, I preferred American dad over family guy. Better. I was, I was, okay. Look, I like family guy. To say it's a preference over South Park yeah. is like downright lunacy. I just did. It's like medical it lunacy. It feel yucky. Regardless, oh. flashback episode of this week, Seven Deadly Sins is getting a spinoff series. Ugh. Ugh. People like that? That's what I said. <laughs> and I got don't like so that. much flack <laughs> for that take. I see it ever like, oh, it's like, oh, we're getting a spinoff series. I'm like, why? What? Give me, give me a new IP. Give me something else. Why are we dumping money into Seven Deadly Sins? It just got a fifty-seven, mo a fifty-seven minute movie CGI nightmare yeah. that nobody watched. And I'm like, how, how does it keep getting chances? How, how does it keep letting le it? Like season four and five. Not only was the story incredible, story incredibly boring. Animation worst I've ever seen in anime. Yeah. It's not great when the anime, the animation gets worse with its success. Yeah. yeah. And it was like a season one, season two. I can understand wanting more of that. Like it was incredible. Very, very good. Meliodas catching the spear. Super dope moment. Yeah. Got so much worse. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how they got, to, I don't, I don't know how they got to finish it. And now it's getting a spinoff and like, it, it does arguably look better, but it's like, that's why it's my flashback episode. Like second chances. Yeah. That's my, that's my flashback yeah. episode is second chances right. because oh my God, are they getting a second chance? Yeah. I what, know they need it. What's yours? Um, this is our news segment, correct? Yeah, yeah flashback yeah. episode. Um, sorry, I had to get the news. Uh, what do we just open like animenewsnetwork.com? <laughs> like, what are we doing here? I pulled just gonna up, read the the top article. I pulled up a screenshot of animenewsnetwork.com that I took in preparation. <laughs> um, we are nothing. We bring nothing original to the table well, whatsoever. Welcome to the Anime News Network uh, podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the official. Yeah. Um. Kaguya-sama, Kaguya-sama, uh, Love, Love is, is War, War. Yep. the first kiss that never ends movie is coming to the U.S. February 14th. On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. And how about that? Have you seen Kaguya-sama? No, I do know that it's ranked higher than Full Metal Full Alchemist Metal, yeah. Brotherhood on my anime list, which infuriates me. But like, honestly, it's supposed to. It's apparently great. 
Like, uh, it's amazing. Allegedly. I've heard it's just overthinking the anime. Yeah. Like, I've heard it's just, like, will they, won't they for, like, three oh, yeah. straight seasons. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it's better than, like, things like quintental, like, quintessent, like quintessential quintuplets and there all you know. like that. It's a hard... Don't don't look at me and, like, oh, try and speak fast and say quintessential quintuplets. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard term. Speak fast, dumb boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Enunciate, loser. Yeah. All right. So we're getting a Kaguya-sama Love is War movie. Incredible. Yeah. Love letters. Oh, yeah? I have them. You don't have to worry about them. Oh, I knew you would tell me I don't have to worry about them. So I took screenshots of comments, you bitch. Oh, but... I, you but, don't give me the love letters. No, but I but it was, I will read them and we can answer them together. Okay. Well, let's see. Do you want to share ownership of love letters? I would like... If there's, if there's ever enough that you have to choose some... I want to also choose my own and okay, then we, we come have, with some. I, I just realized we have a discord where we send all the love letters and you're not in it. I, I it's, it's kind of like a, you're not in the group chat kind of moment. And it's, it's awkward, wow. but well, thank God this is my house at least. Yeah. I, at least, yeah. yeah. At least you got this gorgeous room. Yeah, This makes me feel a part of the podcast. So first love letter. Yes. Um, Oh, I didn't write down who it was from. You know who you are. What was the last movie show that made you cry? You go first. I have to go first? Yeah, you go first. That's, oh, uh, I, I You got to pick the love letter. You got to think of the answer. Actually, technically, you've even, had time. I, our producer, Stank, picked the, uh, picked the answer. So we have a producer. Yeah, that's how serious we are. Hi, Stank. Hi, Stank. He's also our editor. He kind of does everything. Stank the anime man. Yes, yeah, Stank the anime. Yeah. Legal last name. Stank yeah. is also his legal first name. Yeah. Yeah. So last anime or last thing that made me cry. Honestly, yeah, I, it feels like kind of a cop out. One piece, I cried at the going married's death like a, like a child. Um, and then Brooke's backstory, I cried. Watch yourself with spoilers real quick. I, yeah, I just, For uh, me specifically. Yeah, the going Brooke's married backstory. is a ship. I so know, I knew about that. Okay, you don't have to worry about as that. As you're getting into someone's backstory. Um, yeah. Brooke's backstory devastated me, but that was like four or five months ago. I'm trying to, I, I cried recently to Ponyo. Um, which was which was dumb because Ponyo is Ponyo at no point is sad. Yeah, Ponyo's just about like little fish girls yeah. that just like gain sentience. But like the ending was just like so gorgeous. I cried. Um, I cry every single time I watch Howl's Moving Castle, but I haven't watched that in like six months. So I think official I think official answer was Ponyo. Right. I've given you time. You want to know why I've never watched Ponyo? Why? Disney Channel was promoting it at the time, and Frankie Jonas. Um, is in it. He voices the little boy. Which one is Frankie? Exactly. He's the one you don't know. He's the fourth Jonas. He's the bonus Jonas. There's oh, Nick he's Kevin. the he's the little brother that's not in it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he, he's in Ponyo apparently. He's so a he, voice actor. That's not a bad gig for Ponyo. He is. Yeah. That's the only thing he's in. And then I know this also. He went to. Uh, sorry, Frankie Jonas about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Frankie Jonas, big Utaku's anonymous fan. Well, this is about to be mean. Okay. <laughs> I know he went to. I think he's uh, dealt with worse. He went to Belmont College. I'm pretty sure. I hope I have my stuff he's, right. Okay. He went to Belmont. He college lives on Blank Street. Yeah. And then got kicked out for drugs. It's a very Christian college, and like weed will get you kicked out. That's not so bad. It's just funny. Why do I'm, you know this about Frankie Jones? My roommate went to Belmont. Are you saying that you didn't watch Ponyo because the bonus Jonas yes. went to a college? No, that no, your no. Friend, okay, I, I thought, didn't watch it I because he like, was in it. I don't all. condone yeah. drugs. <laughs> yeah. How dare he yeah. not respect the institution of college? Um, that could all be wrong, and I'll get sued for slander. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, all that the bonus Oof. Jonas is a drug addict. Oof. He smoked weed once. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, I want him in jail. So any Whoville, uh, I didn't watch it because I didn't want to watch anything related to the Jonas Brothers, who I financially saved from the Bionicles, might I remind you. You're like, I feel as though my purchase yeah. wasn't Sh worth it. It should get me a ticket for free. Did you have like a big like, I don't I don't listen to the Jonas oh, Brothers? Yeah. Okay, I did the same thing. You know what though? They Channel. bang. They're cool. Oh, coming back to it now. Very good. I like them. Very good. Burning up. Real cool song. Uh, they were playing this one. Um, I forget what it was called. Year 3000? Because no. that also was good. That's all right. There was one that was like, actually sounded like legitimate, like, like pop punk, like a little bit. And I was like, this is, I was like, this kind of bangs. We we're in a brewery. It was playing. I was like, this goes hard. That might be burning up. Because that is also like a real pop punk I, song. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. So but like, it was what, still. Was it like. I'm high. No, I know, I okay. know. You're cold. I know, I know what it is. I know that song. It was not that song, but 
I also didn't watch Disney Channel because I was like, that's the channel for girls. And oh, that's, yeah. yeah. And then I was like, I was actually, yeah. it was actually, it was some good stuff. Phineas and Ferb was fun. So. Oh, haven't seen that one. Still haven't answered my question. What was oh, the last mine? piece of media okay. that made you cry? Last piece of media that made me cry. I'll give like a technical answer, I suppose. So I'm working on, hold How up. Technical hold can up. crying be? You'll see. You're a robot? I'm leaking oil. I'm working on uh, this YouTuber who I really love, TB Skyen. You're working on him. You're just. I'm just work. I'm just trying just, to get in. I'm just. I'm getting in that it circle. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So I'm like working on TB yeah. Skyen. <laughs> that um, one's not for the audio. But, yeah. yeah, we're just gonna not. We're gonna not describe yeah. that one. But so, uh, so I'm working on TB Skyen. <laughs> there we go. That one's for audio. I um, hate it. So. Um, I'm working on this like big collaborative thing that he's working on. It's going to yeah. be this like big super video with a bunch of creators where they pick a character that like means something to them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what does the character and mean you're to like you? Soma and then like Food Wars. Yeah, exactly. You're like, I just resonate with his core values. Ugh. Ugh, I yeah. got chills just hearing that fucking name outside of <laughs> my once a month yeah. bubble. But, uh, and so like, it's just going to be this long video where every 10 minutes, a new creator pops in. He's like, this is my video. And I, so I'm working on a video about Rengoku and comparing him to my mom. And Mugen Train, it was too far, it was too long ago. I cry a lot. And writing it, Mugen Train, I haven't seen a, in a bit, but I did cry during it. Yeah. But writing that like two days ago, writing the script, I was crying. You're tearing up. I was just crying, thinking about Ren Goku. Just thinking about Ren Goku and comparing him to my mom and like their struggles together. And I was just like, this is gonna be sick, Skyen. Just wiping yeah. the tears off the keyboard, like, oh, I'm Dude, sorry. It's gonna be hype. I'm not even like, I'm not even trying to promote that Absolute video, but it's gonna promo. be hype. Yeah, yeah, guys. If you want to see Danny cry while he performs the video, I might. Maybe I'll do some BTS and see if I can record it without crying. Behind the scenes. I just thought the boy not bands. Not the boy band. I, That's okay. a film term. Time I cried just sitting down watching a thing. Most huh. recently, uh, Chainsaw Man. When the thing happens, don't you dare. When. That's for our visualists. That's <laughs> what episode eight cried what, for sure. When you know, calm down. When this get get it out with the, a different thing. Get it out with a spoiler from the nineties. When because <laughs> I know you have to you have to. Vash's get brother is million <laughs> knives. No, okay, that's actually that's a pretty good answer. I don't. I didn't find that. That's sad. It was probably because I, I I already read the manga. It was I knew just it was like the like the music and like yeah. the context, uh -huh. like the beauty and like sadness of it is all really strong. Like gotcha. That was nuts. That's fair. All right, next question. What was your motive for starting YouTube? Oh, both of us? Yeah. Um. No, I'm, answer I'm asking myself questions today. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, last time it was like, okay, I have a question for us. Why hasn't Danny finished Fire Force? And it's it was something that we could both chirp, <laughs> chirp in on. Um. Uh, I guess so. Uh. Do you want to go first? Because you went first last time. I. Why did no? Take okay, some fine, responsibility. Then I'll go. Then I'll go. Take uh, some gumption here. My motivation for starting YouTube was I am a filmmaker. For one, so I'm like, you know, obnoxious and want the spotlight all the time. Um, but two, I made... He made a cowboy movie once. I did make a Western. Uh, Nick thinks I was a key grip, but I was Nobody the director. Nobody knows what any of these... He, he set up the lights. He was great I at I directed it. the film. He was, he was great <laughs> at the lights. I did. Yeah. But anyway, um, I... So when TikTok was like first happening during the quarantine... I put up one of my like original college sketches on there. Gotcha. First video Is that I put still up, up. No, because the girl you. in it, because the girl in it, I hated that it blew up. It was. Okay. Do you still have access to it? Yes. I'll show Patreon. it to you and I'll explain it. And Patreon, maybe. Yeah, Patreon, absolutely. We're watching it. Nobody tell Lexi. Um, oh yeah, 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 as long as she doesn't get behind the paywall, who cares? So anyway, yeah, as long as she doesn't pay me. Yeah, we'll just block her IP. Easy so, We can do that. So I put up this sketch called "Condoms in the Vending Machine." And it like blew up. And by blew up, I mean like it got to like 40,000, which wow. is blowing up for me. Yeah. Um, and I was like, and then I got the thrill and I was like, I'm funny. Yeah. I got to fucking. Oh, that first, that first hit yeah, that first is time, better man. than crack. Yeah. I would know I've done a lot of it. Yeah. Like I, I, I like posted a video, did 1.1 million views. I was bouncing yeah. around the house for like three days. Now nothing hits the same anymore. Yeah. I am a void. My entire <laughs> self-meaning 
is numbers. If my YouTube video is a 10 out of 10, I stare at the edge of my house very <laughs> contemplatively. Yeah, but the other thing, and then we'll get to you, uh -huh. just wrapping up. But so that was like TikTok. Don't worry, I, my answer is very short. <laughs> I just like kept going with it and like then it led to YouTube. But the reason that I like still do it and like the love it and everything and the reason I like wanted to do it like anime based yeah. is because I don't have like none of my friends like or watch anime. Mm -hmm. I got Josh into Attack on Titan I'm so sorry about that. And then I Chainsaw Man he loves. I just stop him at like season four. Just be like, oh my God, the ocean. What? I know. Bam. Cool. Well, he, we, he's just so aggravated with the pacing now. But like, yeah. Um, but so I have like not a lot of friends who watch anime. And so I <laughs> not love. Not a lot of, period. I have not a lot of friends. Not a lot of in friends. In general. Yeah. And then if you make a Venn diagram of friends and who watch anime, anime and they don't touch. Two circles. Yeah. yeah. Like, but um, so it's cool. Like, the reason I like doing the commentary stuff is because I get to watch a show like episode eight of Chainsaw Man. Mm -hmm. Like I have no one to freak out to about it. And then I like upload the video. I have like this whole comment section, this whole discord of people like now chatting with me about this hype thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like a friendly community now. Yeah. You've made your own, you've made your own little like safe place for mm -hmm. anime. Cool. Mine is money. Next question. What makes an anime revolutionary? What does that mean? What do you mean? What makes an anime revolutionary? revolutionary? Yeah. Like what, like what, what you're like, oh my God, X has happened in an anime. That's fantastic. But like, does revolutionary mean like, oh, this is going to become like a pop culture icon or does it mean like, like, or cause you kind of. No, revolutionary to you. Like, like an anime you're like, that sticks with you. Do you want me to answer first? Yeah. <laughs> Usually for me, it's well-written female characters. That's it. Like the like anime some examples. Anime that have stuck out to me recently: JJK, uh, Vivia the Fluoride Eyes, um, Wonder Egg, Wonder Egg Priority. I watched that like three years ago, though. Uh, I'm trying to think of like very, very recent. Gotcha. Uh, but JJK, Vivia the Fluoride Eyes was incredible. Uh, and then also, uh, what's the really incredibly sad one about the dude who can't die? To your eternity. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like like all of these characters, like it's just like so refreshing in the shonen genre to have like well-written, well-rounded female characters with motivations separate of the men in the story and all of that. That's why I've globbed onto One Piece because both Robin and Nami have motivations separate of the men and all of that. And there's also other women in the story who are, play key pivotal roles. So to me, that's usually what does it. Like that's the easiest way to get me into something or subverting tropes. Uh, the reason that I love Sabuki Bisco, I have both the light novels right here, is because it was a shonen anime that subverted every single possible trope. It was about mushroom archers who are trying to get rid of rust and are riding crabs. And at the end, the two main characters are gay for each other. And that, every trope subverted, adored it. You just can't not spoil things, can you? Oh, I'm sorry. You find out. Listen, you watch the Bookie Biz go. Very obvious. You know, yeah. very obvious. Yeah. Wow. What a what a beta cuck. Yeah, I like I like strong female characters, uh, and, yeah, I, and I love when I characters meant, what are What I gay. meant to say is when the women lose I, their clothes. I like when they punch fan. in boobs. <laughs> That's there's a there's a whole anime, uh, best anime I ever created. Butt fight. Uh, the butt fighting. I yeah. yeah. Uh, That's, what? You, I got. Are you thinking Dick Fight Island? Is that where your brain's going? Maybe I was on, I was on a podcast as like a guest uh -huh. and they told me about something where they like fight with boobs. It's a butt. It's butts. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's, it's, no, I mean, yeah, I've it's, heard it's of girls that. who fight yeah, with their asses. I've heard yeah. of that. It's yeah. intense. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. it's fantastic. Honestly, animation, pretty good. I know. It's like, like, it's like, like ironically well, budget, pretty, pretty good. Well done. Yeah. Um, I like kind of similar to subverting tropes. I like a real, like introspective like soft boy i think not like so it, like deku he doesn't have to like, tanjiro a, you deku it used to be give like, me an mc throw throw tanjiro. a dart on a board okay tanjiro tanjiro surprise, and, surprise, and denji Slayer. they don't have to be soft like and the soft boy introspective yes soft yes denji. yes yes dude chainsaw man is way smarter than people give it credit for denji is like i'm not saying a chainsaw man isn't smarter than people Denji is not. Denji after objectively in a day. after a certain character's death, right? Denji somebody dies in Chainsaw Man. I've ruined anime. Somebody, yeah, only one though, right? Yeah. There's only so far. Oh, you haven't read the manga, have you? Stop it. Okay. Nobody reads manga. Yeah. Nobody has <laughs> time. Definitely not the dude who has a second channel only talking about manga. 
Oh, ooh. So after after a character's death in Chainsaw Man, Denji is like, everyone's crying about it. Everyone who's like close to this character is very upset. Yeah. And Denji has this moment where he like goes out into the hall of the hospital and he's like, I was close to that person, but like, I'm not crying. Does that mean, like, why is that? And then he starts thinking about like, if this friend died, would I cry? Probably right. not. If this friend died, would I cry? Probably not. And he was like, does that mean, like, am I a fucked up person? I and, mean, objectively, probably, yeah. Well, in that scene is like, if you want to look into it, like that scene is such a relatable example of like a teenager, like going through a different person's trauma. Cause I used to like, I used to be like, man, like I can't imagine being like so emotional over a breakup. Like if me and my girlfriend broke up, not my current one in high school, if me and my girlfriend broke up, yeah. I wouldn't be that like, I'd be sad, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't devastate me. It's a weird way to admit like borderline sociopathic tendencies, but like, let's tap into it. Why well, not? That, that's what I mean. It, like when I thought about that, I was like, oh no, like, am I like fucked up? Does yeah. that mean that I'm like a broken person yeah. and I got broken up with and it devastated me? Oh, okay. And so you do have a frontal lobe. So yeah, exactly. Okay. So good, I'm good, not good, like, good. yeah, everyone, everyone <laughs> can come to this school knife tomorrow. Over here. <laughs> Everyone can come to school tomorrow. Yeah. But, um, backpack will be free. Yeah. Yeah. But like, that was like, I related to that so hard. Cause it was like both the, like, am I an awful person? And also the like juvenile thought of like, oh, I'm not this emotional towards somebody else's trauma. I'm not going to be emotional towards trauma. And they just don't know. Like you don't know till it happens. I guess. And, and so based off that, you're saying that Denji is an introspective soft boy. There's like, there's a lot of moments of it. I'll okay. give you one from blue lock. Also real quick. Like Isagi. Well, just in the beginning of, it's not even like the character. It's just like the fact that he's like, when I win, somebody else loses. Like, the first episode of Blue Lock mm. is like they drill in like the main character loses this big tournament. His whole team is really upset. His name is Isagi. Isagi. There yeah. The whole team's really upset and he's like keeping it together. And then he's like walking home and some like kids see him and they're like, hey, like, aren't you from? Aren't you the you're whatever the player? You're the, you're the dude. Yeah, he's you're the like, dude. I was the dude. Well, he's like, you're the dude. And then, yeah, he's like, yeah, like whatever. And they leave and then he starts crying. And then he just to himself is like, I just wanted to win. So he's like, I really wanted to win. And yeah. that just little moment of vulnerability. And you were like, you related to all the times that you played sports ball. All the times I wanted to you win. You were like, I wish we could yeah. have got the spring musical. Yeah. I voted for <laughs> hairspray all the and we didn't get it. I played soccer. Did you? I played a bit of every sport. I played baseball for like See, three every years. Every time we've ever brought up sports, you're just like, I did theater. I was bad. I wore jeans three years at baseball. Oh. I was known for wearing <laughs> jeans and a baseball top. In baseball. How bad did sliding hurt? There's no way you ever slid. You, th I didn't run. <laughs> like, you think I never made contact. Yeah, you think I hit the ball? They definitely put your ass in like left field. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I was way, I was in the dandelions. Who's like, the fucking <laughs> civilian in left field yeah. wearing Wranglers? Yeah, I, I was bad. That's why I'd say I do theater. Oh my um, God, that's so funny. All right. But yeah, just like moment, that's, that's what makes a revolutionary to me when you have a character doing something gen like vulnerability. That's my answer. Like yeah. a genuinely vulnerable moment. Interesting. That's what I love. Cool. All right. And that was love letters. And that was this week's Otaku Anonymous guys. Woo. Thank you so much for checking in with us this week. We appreciate you hanging out. Uh, as you can see, we're slowly but surely figuring out exactly what this show is going to be. But you know, these things take time. Uh, if you guys, once again, want your questions answered in the love letters section here, Make sure you either tweet them at Otaku's Anonymous Podcast on Twitter or uh, email us at Otaku's... Oh, wait, it's actually, no, Otaku's Anon on Twitter. Uh, or Otaku's Anonymous Podcast at gmail.com and our fantastic producer, Stang. We'll correlate what are the best questions. I'll pour over them and we'll answer them. Uh, and if you guys uh, want to have a better say in what we talk about in the show... Go into our community polls. We're going to be talking, you know, posting things like, what do you want us to talk about? What do you want us to do breakdowns of? Uh, this week, we talked about a lot of anime, which almost accidental. I don't know how we did it. Uh, but yeah, I've been Nick or NC Hammer 23. Thank you so much, Daniel. I've been uh, Danny Mata or Danny Mata. Uh, and if you want me to see any of the love letters, uh, d DM them to me. No. So this snaky bitch doesn't get his 
Grab your little No, don't do it. Don't. We have a Discord. Don't dismantle our whole system. There is a Discord. Send them there's to the very things. much. There's checks and balances in the system. Yeah. But okay. Thank you guys so much for checking in. I love each and every single one of you. Mwah. Not getting one from me. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. I'll give you a hug. See, I'm a slut. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the class.